Uh, we like to keep everyone abreast on what's going on at our old station. Yes. When we were also doing regular radio. Regular yeah. radio. You remember back in those days. It, it really feels good when you're when you're replaced by a uh, a jukebox. Really makes yeah. you feel good about what you do for a living. <laughs> ten thousand top forty songs or whatever. Yeah, ten thousand pop songs. It's top forty, and they have, they have ten thousand. And uh, David Hinckley, who completely ignored us when all hell was breaking loose with our radio show. Matter of fact, he never even wrote that we were f fired, let go, whatever the hell you want to call it. No, nothing. When he's uh, his whole job is to write about New York radio. Yeah, like that was kind of a he had, story. He had some kind of bug up his Three. ass for uh, for us, whatever. But uh, now he's writing about uh, ninety two three. What is it called now? Now. Yeah. Now. Now, because it's happening. It's happening. Now. It's now, dude. Aren't we happening right now? Um, Apparently not, I guess. I, I don't yeah, know. What, yeah, well. Well, when you call a station now, yeah. you got to be on the cutting edge, dude. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. You daddy got a bunch of cranky broads working for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another. Ugh. <laughs> well, they, Stupid now. Well, good news. They hired a guy named Chunky. Well, Chunky <laughs> has made the uh, yeah. on the radio column right. by David Hinckley. I guess his real name is Big Boy, but there's too many big boys in the radio business, so he had to change his name to Chunky. He's fat. <laughs> He's yeah. just a fat guy in another fat fucking radio, yeah. apparently. But uh, let's see. Uh, the Elevator, apparently. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, good gravy. This is in the paper, so it's got to be important. What? Was, uh, was, <laughs> what happened was to the broken. Elevator? Broke it. It what was happened? busted. I guess Chunky got in it, <laughs> and uh, it couldn't lift it. Did he plummet to his death? No. Now that would have been a news story. Well, if it's in the paper and and an elevator broke down, what happened? He's he severed an arm or something, a limb. Uh, apparently, and and this is just. This, I find this not true. Okay. Uh, I think this is this is lying. He had to walk 14 stories to reach the studio. Oh, my There's, God. How many elevator banks are there at, at, at that? Uh, one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six on that side. And then you could and take the, the other one up to, like, the 20-something yeah, floor seven, and then back eight, down to the nine, 14th. And maybe on that third hallway, there might yeah. be three more. So there's at least nine. There's, maybe 12. Yeah, believe me, all the elevators don't go out in buildings like this. So everyone should call Chunky today and go, Chunky, you lied. Yeah. You're trying to tell me that every single elevator was busted? Yeah. Well, Chunky is uh, aptly named, says Mark <laughs> Mason, <laughs> yeah, vice president of digital media for now, mm -hmm. parent company CBS. When he got there, he was puffing and sweating. Yeah. Something tells me he puffs and sweats when he answers his phone. <laughs> uh, old Chunky. I, I'm not too bitter. Don't worry. Like any good uh, top 40 DJ, he mentioned the climb on the air. Like any good top 40 DJ, what? he mentioned the climb on the air. Yeah, because top 40 DJs are boring as shit. They're supposed to not talk, first of all. So this is something that's very exciting for a top 40 jock. There was some tween girl going, shut up and play the music. Play Lady Gaga. I don't care that you had to walk up 14 flights of stairs. I don't care what Chunky has to say. Mom. Why is Chunky talking? Chunky's not supposed to talk. You're supposed to play 10,000 songs in a row. I'm going to text my friend Jen and tell her. I'm going to tweet it. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, they're all about the tweeting. Of, well, apparently. Uh, this I wonder is, where they got that idea. See, this is breaking Ooh, news. This is. Uh, oh, oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, go ahead. See, he talked about uh, his big climb on uh -huh. the air, but it didn't stop there. Oh, no. No? No. Mm. Uh, it didn't stop there. Or with tweets and text alerts to mobile phones. He and his colleagues have flip cams. Whoa, whoa, so whoa. He could, yeah, what? I got to slow you down. Before yeah. you, so he thought walking up 14 flights of stairs, which he did not do, because now they have to invent, like, cool things that are happening to them. Right. Because they got all this new technology they want to try. Yeah. I, I got them figured out. But the stupid whoever's in charge over there is like, oh, my God, you got to be talking about your life. And Chunky's sitting there going, oh, but I don't have anything going on in my life. Well, just make something up. 
How about I, 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 I make believe that I walked 14 flights of stairs today? That's good for okay, a fat that's good. guy. Go that's ahead. Good, go good, ahead. good. Tweet it. Tweet go it. Go with it. Tweet it. Text message it. Text we're it. now. We're now. We're 923 now. So there's a multi-platform thing going on, but they have nothing yeah. to talk about. So now they're making up crap like Chunky walking up 14 flights of uh, but, yeah. stairs. You don't Sorry, think you really had to walk up those steps? Hell fucking no. no. <laughs> we know that building. Yeah. There's not one elevator. There's there's banks of elevators banks that go to banks. various floors. You could you could get. Believe yeah. me, you ain't taking the stairs. How long were we there? Three Did years. we ever have to take the stairs? No. Uh, no. no. One time we had to take an elevator up past our floor and then back down yeah. again. That was a it's in a different elevator bank. But we actually had to walk across that floor to the oh. banks to come back down. I we tweeted should- it. I really? I yes. wish I did. Oh, it was fascinating. I wish I did. Well, uh, the tweet alerts. I'm uh, gonna tweet my grapefruit. <laughs> text alerts. You know, we, we. I think we're all guilty of boring uh, food tweet uh, you pictures. You know what? Though we've never. No, our tweets and our Facebooking and all that crap is way better than talking about walking up imaginary floors that never happened. Well, the thing is. Uh, they're talking about these tweets, text alerts yeah. on mobile phones, and he and his colleagues have flip cams. Okay. So he could simultaneously send out video to the station website and through social networking sites like Facebook and MySpace. Really? Wow! That <laughs> sounds like something we have been doing for years. This is something we have to jump on, yeah. I think, Yeah. A- and start doing, oh, that's right, we've been doing it. I guess they took uh, a few of our things. Yeah, I think a, a few, few people. Now, now, look, look, I am never going to say we were the first ones to be doing this, that, hoo-hoo. and the other thing. Just as go far hoo-hoo as, and everyone hoo-hoo, is. hoo 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 as far as electronic media goes and tying into the fans through different things than just broadcasting uh, our stupid voices over the air. But uh, b- we were right there with MySpace, Facebook, putting things on uh, YouTube, uh, uh, tweeting. Opie uh, was tweeting uh, before a-, a lot of people, before the, the whole thing, because now, I mean, it's, it's really um, in the news. And, Some say and that I, seems to be I brought tweeting. it to the uh, forefront. Well, can, you invented it. Hoo hoo. Well, according to Ronnie, I uh, invented uh, Twitter. By the way, yeah. some dope on uh, one of the one of the uh, fan sites, and, and I don't. No, even, that doesn't exist. There's I don't not even, dopes on the fan sites. I don't sites. even know why I go there anymore because there's still people just trying to knock everybody don't. down all the time. There's an idiot that is convinced that Twitter is paying me, and that's why I, I talk about it so much. No, I talk about it so much because it's a really cool thing, and it's something I got excited about. Sorry. Cha-ching there, Opie. Cha-ching. That's right. Nice endorsement. But this guy is convinced, and then everyone has to jump on, like, you know, you might be a, you might be onto something. You know, that's the first thing I thought when you just brought it up. Holy crap. <laughs> Can you just let things be... Instead Everything of, was endorsed, yeah. Instead of trying to break everything down to some ridiculous poison, could you just let some of this stuff be? It's 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 just a, a organic thing. I I I I finally found something I like. Anthony even like complimented me when we were talking the other day. He's like, "Well, it's kind of cool that you finally found, you know, yeah, some electronic medium, right? Besides, uh, you know, the block game. But this guy's trying <laughs> to get something going. I think he's working for Twitter." I think they're paying them. Do you know how long I went on Pal Talk and people actually thought Pal Talk was paying yeah, me just stop. for doing it? It's it's a great outlet. These things to put shit out there that you you know don't put out on the air. You put it out and want to enhance it visually. Think uh, put a few more words to it. Whatever. I'll tell you this: th- this is where we're stupid. I mean, you know, oh, well, Howard doesn't. Where do- does the list start? <laughs> Howard doesn't do anything unless it means money for him. We oh, hoo, hoo. we do things to try to like make the experience a little a little deeper for everybody. Enhance the show, bring people in, a little more immersion, right. uh, a little more um, uh, they're connected with the show a little more. Because guess what? When we move to the other place in two weeks, they're taking our pal talk away from us because they can't. They don't. Well, s- you're kidding, right? No. No, I'm not kidding, Jimmy. They're taking pal talk for they now. They see no real upside <laughs> to giving away um, a one inch by one inch video feed yeah. and audio that apparently peters out every five minutes. Yeah. Um, not not no any fault of uh, pal talks. It's the software here. Sure. Uh, but but it's like 
Don't you realize that people see that they get it? They get, they get from all over the wor world where they wouldn't be subscribing anyway. And then people that are in the country that then subscribe because they want to kind of mm -hmm. hear the show mm -hmm. crystal clear. And and a lot of people watch on Pal Talk but listen on XM. Right. Uh, they just they don't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Whatever you're saying, Jim. I got it. I got it. I got it. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. <laughs> What's your Jimmy's opinion? biting Jimmy? his lip. It's, 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 yeah, I got it. 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 Do you got it? It's, Unless it's a thirty-eight uh, caliber bullet, uh, you don't got it. <laughs> this is the problem we run into time and time again. These uh, these suits, they need to see like money right away for everything when they don't understand that something like that enhances our show makes it bigger which eventually leads to more people listening and subscribing to this channel the only equity they see is the old greenbacks they don't see equity in the fact that people getting on board um, just a few hundred at a time here and there mm -hmm. it's not like you're giving away this to thousands upon thousands of people a few hundred here and there checking it out Going to their friends, talking about it, yeah. and their friends uh, might not have a pal talk at all. Oh, where are these guys? Oh, XM. Oh, I'll subscribe. I gotta tell you, I'm very excited at uh, the master plan they have for us because when we sat down with these guys, they said, "Look, let me tell you something. You guys are a very, very talented radio show." This is exactly what was said to us, and uh, you were just underappreciated, XM. You weren't marketed right. You weren't pushed out there right. But if you want to really see underappreciated. <laughs> But they're like, you know, we got big plans for you guys, you know, and we can't wait. We're very excited to have you on board, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Since that day, they took away our star booker. They're taking away our studio, throwing us in a tiny little closet. And they're taking away the pal talk. Yeah. The pal talk, you're taking away pal talk. is just, it's a lack of insight into, right. into what kind of gets people talking about something. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We have chicks in here, or like we have Pat from Munaki or doing something, whatever we're doing, something stupid. Yes. And we have all these people. They just come in and they watch it live. And they could see it. Do yeah. you really think that you're giving away the franchise by a few people listening in a room? Most of them have the service anyway. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, well, what we are doing is, hold on, let me explain to you, Jimmy. You're giving away a free video feed, which isn't good. Okay, then can we videotape something and put it out and make, no! No. <laughs> so they got a master plan for us. I can't wait for when it kicks in. Can't wait for what's next. It's been, I think we've been uh, part of this whole thing for eight months now. <laughs> Not, no marketing, no nothing. <laughs> we'll see. Business as usual. Well, I At think... least, you know. Please, yeah. just tell us it's business as usual. You know, we've been around long enough to know that huh, you're just kind of saying things. <laughs> yeah, I'll we, talk maybe a winnable gonna, battle. Hey, yeah, uh, we'll work on that it. Maybe a winnable battle. Anthony, we'll we got to get back to Chunky. He's in the New York paper, but Psycho Bob has a Chunky update. Uh, Psycho Bob, yes. Oh. Uh, rumor has it that Chunky is cleaning his ears with a Q-tip. Well, I hope they get that Q-tip on uh, Twitter. I, I won't believe it until he tweets it, my friend. I don't believe anything until I see it on Twitter. Twitter.com for your social networking needs. Oh, uh, it, it, Let me continue a little with see, the story here. Yeah. Everything about this... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sir. Everything about this station is happening now, says Mason. Mm. The website and other platforms aren't tagalongs. They're all part of what we do. What we so do. when afternoon host Lisa Page asked for shopping tips, it can spark a real-time conversation on air <laughs> through the text messages and the website. <laughs> oh my god shopping tips that's what's gonna get it done on regular radio yeah. shopping t t tits shopping, shopping tips. tips shopping uh, tips with lisa page wow how about when we uh, had a uh, real-time video going of e-rock getting his armpits waxed yes and uh 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 pal talk going of of celebrity interviews on the couch and and gallagher trashing the joint and yeah. and things like that and then just guests coming in and, and your, your, your Twitter things, uh, Facebook, same thing, videos that would go up on Facebook related to the show. It, it astounds me that they are making this article and stupid David Hinckley is, is just taking it hook, line, and, and sinker. Right. That this is new to this now thing. 
Well, we would, we would, and I hate saying this because it sounds like hoo -hoo. do hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> but but come on, man. We were we were we were pounding this shit. We always uh, did the technology thing alongside our show. Right. It's always been right there alongside the show. We were the first ones to have women faxing their boobs. That's yes. how old we are. Faxing. <laughs> I remember we incorporated like, the fax machine on a radio show. I remember putting a website together with HTML to put pictures up that night. Yes. Because you couldn't even do it on on the fly that night. Of stuff we did that day on the air. And it sounds insane now because it's just instant. Mm. But then it was like, oh, my God, you know, I'm able to hear the show. And then that night I go home and download pictures of uh, what was going on in the studio. Right. And uh, it just, to, to have him do an article like this with Chunky walking up the stairs. Mm. Holy shit. You know, it would be a great tweet if uh, he had video of them kick-starting his heart after he, <laughs> after he climbs up hey, those stairs. You're missing the best part of the article, my friend. What? It's a restaurant review. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> right. What was the restaurant review? I'm not even reaching for it. <laughs> what was that? The restaurant they're, review. They're getting some kind of network of people together, and they discuss, like, the best restaurants to go to in Brooklyn or something well, like that. That's part of it, Ophi. Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong paper. Well, I'm insane over here. Yeah, they got. Um, by the way, um, by the way, Chunky. Yeah. Let me. T <laughs> don't don't get too upset. Chunky has twenty two followers, <laughs> so they're, they're, they're. Oh my god! They're doing a whole article. This is how much David Hinckley hates our guts. They're doing a whole article on how they're using this new technology, Twitter, and Chunky's twittering everything. He's got twenty two people that are checking out his tweets. Well, I think a few more might nah. join up after uh, what happened today. <laughs> well, we could do a. I, I, I'm 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 thinking about a new effing uh, bit called Twitter Bomb. Twitter Bomb. Twitter effing bomb. We, we we could test it out. We could do a Twitter Bomb. I, I'm I'm still like, old Chunky could be our Manhattan Project. <laughs> right. It's still in my, it's still in my lab at home. I got to figure out exactly how this is going to work and and what it means. Bah Chunka. Ah Chunka. Well Chunka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the station's also recruiting a growing um, network of bloggers uh, who talk about maybe yeah. Great restaurants in Brooklyn. <laughs> or places to find designer clothes on the cheap. We can simultaneously broadcast and narrowcast, says Mason, through the Internet. Our signal is worldwide. And then, of course, one of our advertisers can target a message specifically to people uh, who listen of in course. Brooklyn. Of so course. they figure out a way to take it of and course. Twitter bomb of course. Uh, an ad. I guarantee so that you not only get commercials now on radio, you yeah. also get it through your goddamn Twitters. I, I guarantee that's why this whole Twitter thing isn't working for them, because they're spamming the, the hell out of it. Oh, like, yeah. Who gives a shit crap? Enjoy your commercials everywhere you can buy, because they don't want it for free. No. That's just it, too. Right. This is under the guise of, hey, Chunky wants to talk about his uh, stair climb <laughs> thing. And then they'll do his something fake. for fucking, yeah. His fake stair climb. Then they'll, uh, <laughs> you know, have a commercial that they just kind of... Uh, Twitter bomb you with yeah. about uh, Gatorade yeah. and how uh, he needs to top it off with Gatorade well, he's to replace his electrolytes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, Christ. I can't get enough of Chunky and his tweets. Chunky's tweets about <laughs> can, walking upstairs. Eli, can you get Chunky's tweets? Holy shit. I don't even know how you find it. I don't really... He walked upstairs and it, it makes fucking uh, oh, the paper. Here's Chunky's social networking amp. Uh, he's got 22 friends on Twitter or followers. He's got 36 friends on MySpace, <laughs> and his Facebook still promotes his uh, Detroit station. <laughs> All right. Way to go, Chunky. All right, Chunky. Ah, Chunka. Ah, Chunka. Ah, Chunka. Of course, they mentioned that they're playing 10,000 songs, Britney Spears, blah, 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 the Lady, Lady Gaga. But um, Theodore says that uh, there's uh, enough uh, audience... For another top 40 station. What? Oh, yeah, then it just goes into Yeah, it goes into the other thing. People 18 34, uh, blah, 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 still experiment. But, well, they're just, you know, talking about the technology thing behind this is what we were uh, getting at. And the fact that they're uh, talking about Chunky's climb to the, st uh, the, the well, I, 14th floor. I got I got Chunky's uh, updates. Oh, 
Good. Chunky Radio, by the way. Yeah, he, he's got three updates. Ooh! I think I did three updates in the last hour. What are you waiting for, Chunky? Too tired to type? His peanut uh, butter in his fingers. Oh, his fingers hit three keys at once. <laughs> his first? Chubby the... things. See, because I had to say he's fat-fingered. <laughs> Wait, he's using Chunky Radio, too? Uh-oh. Um, see what happened? Yeah, that's okay. what I, I I was like, uh oh, see Chunky Radio. See, like Opie Radio wasn't all over the K Rock website. Yeah, okay, but you yeah. go fuck yourselves. Uh, sitting in Baba Booey's uh, Baba Booey's old office and watching a building that's on fire on Fifty Fifth Street. LOL. What? <laughs> Baba Booey's old office. That's where we were. Sitting. That's three fucking people ago, Chunky. And they knocked walls down and did shit, so it's probably not his office. Uh, and then uh, his next tweet was bout. That was Steve's office. It was Steve's office. Say you're in Steve's That's office. That's right. Uh, but why wouldn't you why wouldn't you take why wouldn't you take a picture if the building was on fire and then send that? Because he's because he's lying. lying. It didn't mother, happen cause uh, either. Because he has a boring life and he's got to make shit up. Uh, then his next tweet was bout b o u t hmm. uh, to go on air. Oh. Thought it was bout with obesity, losing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys, hold on to your hats. This one's terrific. All right. Saw a huge horse pee. It should be some, uh, whatever. Saw a huge horse pee on Fifth Avenue in the middle of the street. Looked like Mountain Dew spilled all over. Back to the hotel now, like N2 Deep. What's N2 Deep? Is that some kind of, like, I have no street idea. slang? How about a picture of the horse piss? Yeah. You're right. Exactly. How about a picture of the burning building? Well, it would have to happen to actually take a picture of it. Don't you get what's yeah. going on here? Maybe he doesn't have a phone on his, a, a, a fucking uh, camera on his phone. Mm. Maybe he's updating with the old Samsung flip phone that I used oh, to have. Yeah. God. Have you guys heard the Chunky show? I think you're not being fair. <laughs> oh, right. I, Sam. Sam's actually right. I have Sam. Not. Why you got audio you're of the getting Chunky show? Punched. I don't have. I don't have it yet, but I, I've I've been listening. I'd yeah. love to hear a little Chunky. Who's this kid? I don't know. Charlie just came over and tapped me while I was talking. What's up, Charlie? Yeah, Charlie what the like, fuck is that about? Yeah, Charlie. That's on the air. told me to come in and tell Sam that N2 Deep is a shitty white rapper song. Uh, Back to the Hotel is a shitty song by N2 Deep. Uh, oh, okay. Nice. Figures e rock would know that. No, so, I, knew, I knew that. So he's trying to... All right, calm down. We All were right, goofing get a, on e rock idiot. Yeah, get a hold of yourself, Caesar. <laughs> Fucking Claudius. <laughs> we, were, we were goofing on the original Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have our own Chunky. Right. But yesterday... <laughs> Yeah, show. Yeah, because Chunky, the reason that this stuff works is because he does topics that people can relate to. Okay, like, Sam. I think maybe what we were doing is not stuff people could relate to and interact with us that well. Yeah, I'm willing to take the. Uh, the uh, it's just constructive yeah, criticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chunky came on the air yesterday and said he dropped his phone. I've dropped my phone. Exactly. See, so he dropped his phone on Fifty Seventh Street. Ooh, uh -huh. He's in the big city, after all, and it broke. <laughs> it doesn't work. He can't get his phone working. He said it on the air. Oh no! So then he opens it up to the calls and the twitters and the bloggers, saying, "How many phones have you broken?" I bet that the calls poured in because we've all had at least one or two happen. Well, one girl called in with three. Jesus, so. poor girl. What happened? Stop. You're That's listening to this crap. Well, I want to see what's out there. I want. To, I, I live in the now. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to be behind the times. <laughs> what a Holy shit. How did she break her phone? Did she say the poor girl? Hmm. Well, I mean, I would assume at least one she dropped, but when there's three of them, yeah. there's probably a story behind it. I should check the blogs. I'll bet. Yeah, you better uh, go uh, check all those blogs to see what the real story is. Let's say hi to Dave in Canada. Dave, how are you? Uh, I'm pretty good. How about you? Good, Dave. Yeah, sure to waste your time, but uh, what's going on there? A little bit story. Okay, I'll speed it up. Uh, you, you, you can't be honestly or you shit me about taking away the pal talk. Yeah, we don't. Uh, we, again, uh, it's not a hundred percent yet. We still have to no, it's get 100%. into it. Well, I haven't. I haven't uh, you know, we'll see with, if, if they can be reasoned with. Um, sometimes, if you, Ant's been trying. Really? Yeah, yeah. that's that's Ant's uh, cause, obviously, and he he's he did a very good job explaining why it makes sense. But uh, we'll fight for it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Any sense? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. How no. Does it make any sense? These at stupid all? Canadians are so polite. Why are you so <laughs> polite, We're sir? We're so polite. Yeah, right. Exactly. Sorry. This guy every time he calls, he's like, "Oh, yeah, it's How just me." It's just so me. polite, whatever. That doesn't make any difference. But here, you know, look. It, I know it's not all about me. Like, hey, wait, Canadian guy. Do you have you, you watch on Pal Talk, right? Do you also have the service? Yeah, no, I do. I have Pal Talk. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, what but service. I got XM. That's what I. You, you have XM too, to, right? You're an yeah. XM subscriber. 
Yes, I am. And you also watch on Pal Talk. Yes. Okay, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people have both, and they seem to think that everybody's stealing it for free. It's like the audio on Pal Talk is not phenomenal. Yeah, it's average at best. Most people will listen, and it does. It turns people onto the show. Yeah, I bet you more people have been turned onto the show because of that. Than Absolutely, are getting it for free and the service itself. Because like, all right, we we supply Pal Talk so people can look in and see what we're doing here. Yeah, but yeah. then for the rest of the day when they're driving around or or whatever, they're listening to the service on XM, Sirius, whatever, uh, and not on Pal Talk. We just offer a show that's very conducive. To video, yeah. right, and, and not, and the thing is, we're not doing a five-camera fucking shoot in here. All right, maybe we are. Let me look One, around. Two, How many three, cameras? Four. Uh, <laughs> At least four. But you know what it is? It's not. Is it really eight? It's not uh, eight. It's not uh, like like with these. Yeah. Okay. Can I? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. Right. Canada, just being rude, talking on his own show. It's. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this hunt. Time, but like Anthony. If you guys are taking off Pal Talk, <laughs> all I'm going to be able to do is go to a bunch of black sites and get bounced every day. That's what I'm doing. All right, Dave. All right, we got it, Dave. Uh, thank well, God he interrupted me for us. Uh, he doesn't that. give a crap it's that he can hear I mean, or see the radio going. show. Oh, he's, he's still going. going. <laughs> he's still going. He's, he's, he's Pal Talk. He's so he can talk jerk over off. you, guy. All right, thank you, Dave. We got to hang up. It's on so. Me. It's it really is. Do uh, uh, you, you see that XM before built the studio? They put in these Pal Talk cameras because they kind of understood that was a part of the show. How, yeah. You ever look how many people are in the room? You don't have five thousand people in the Pal Talk no. room. Once in a while, you have like five or six hundred pouring. When you got some naked yeah. chicks in here and stuff. They'll be like the Ew, most nudity. Oh. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Uh, when when you, we got that going on, of course, Mighty. the room's going to fill up. It's going to be a lot of people. Yeah. But the reason they're logging on at in those numbers is because they're listening right. on XM. Right. They hear that we have something they yeah. want to see, right. so they log in. It, it It's not people calling each other, hey, quick, go on to Pal Talk. You know, they just... They know from listening to the show that they want to see something. So they are subscribing. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I got to tell you, I'm excited at what's going to happen to us. They're yeah. completely stripping this show down yeah. and bringing us back to where we were 12 years ago. Yeah. 12 years ago. It's kind of like when you see your favorite band and they get, they get so overproduced and the stage show is ridiculous and, and they got like an internet feed of the show. And then all of a sudden you see that same band on tour and, and they just have a, a, a couple of acoustic guitars and, and like a curtain behind them. Got to bring it back to their roots. I'm so excited that they're breaking yeah. everything down that we built up for the last decade and nice. we, we get to start over. Broadcast from the old broom closet. Yeah, no studio audience. Uh, no pal talk. A, a studio that's maybe a third of the size of the one we're yeah, currently in. Yeah, come no on. No pal talk. <laughs> Don't need all these fancy accoutrements. You know, all the stuff that really, really made <laughs> made our show. The stuff a we, little, we thought, <laughs> knowing the show better than anyone else does or ever will, right. the stuff we thought was good for the show. Right. Good for the listeners. Leaving all, you know, leaving a lot of our, our people that we developed over the years behind, you know, it's, it's all great. How many times do you think, it's all great. how many times do you think Fat Chunky... Yeah. We'll try to do something and then finally get the. Oh, that oh, can't go no. up on the. Uh, no, you that can't, can't go up on the website. You can't tweet that. See, that's a big no. horse cock. Uh, you finally got your phone where you could took a hit. So you yeah. took a picture of the horse peeing, but see, that's horse cock, and we can't put that on our yeah. website. How about this one, uh, Chunky? You're gonna have to change your name because it's too close to Chinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. Uh, oh, we, we the got Asian. complaint letter. Yeah, they we got thought... one complaint letter, and uh, we're gonna have to change your name from uh, Chunky. Too close to Chinky. Too yeah. close. Too close. By the way, we want to tie you into a chunky uh, candy bar promotion. Uh, we'd like you to broadcast from a candy store and give away chunkies. Right. Uh, really? I, Can I tweet myself shooting myself in the head? I hope that he actually did have a picture of that building on fire. And management came to him. I wouldn't be surprised and go, yeah, oh. you can't tweet that because someone might have got hurt in that fire. If someone got hurt, yeah, it's going to be insensitive. Can't do that. I'm sorry, and Chunky. Our lawyers have said that you yeah. can't tweet that. Because... Matter of fact, just tweet stuff that doesn't exist so we can never get in trouble. Yeah. 
So tweet make, all fake stuff. <laughs> like, like you know, walking up 14 flights of yeah. stairs. Talk with Bob, our tweet consultant that we hired. <laughs> you know that's coming. We hired a tweeting consultant. A social networking consultant. Yes, a social networking consultant. <laughs> and he'll be the one that tells you what can go up and what can't. Oh, you'll have complete, like, say, except everything you say will be knocked down. But we, we'll have our social networking consultant. <laughs> And then it'll be in the paper. Oh, oh, uh, CBS hires social networking consultant. Yeah. Well, this is the future. Yeah. And this is what it's all about. Yeah. You know, regulating the media <laughs> like the communists do. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow. All right. Well. I don't. Yeah, I, I, know. I know there's other stuff they took away from us, but we better shut our mouths. Let's just say, let's just, you know. Oh, I know. Because we're actually being good. Yeah, because it gets uh, confused by the suits, you know. We, we just try to stick up for our show and what it's all about, and then we get in trouble. And then it gets back pitching. to our agent yeah. as we were, um, you know, threatening to run in with crossbows and axes. Yeah. Yeah, we, we just try to stick up for the, our show because, God forbid, we, <laughs> we uh, really like the listening experience that we give our fans. We like pointing out things. Uh, you know that are uh, have been on our show, and they never have a good answer because, like, the studio they're putting us in, mm -hmm. we're like, come on, and like, no, we just need to get you over there, over here, and then yeah. we'll work from there. I know damn well they throw us in that little box, and then, and then you know we'll make the best of it, but we're gonna just rot. They're not gonna make it any better from that point on. It's a tiny little no. studio in the middle of like hallways. Put us somewhere. Like we don't even know where we would would we would put people if they allow them up there oh my god other people they dynamite the walls down <laughs> to make the rooms bigger oh my god they can't get enough space the building looks silly because they extended out two windows 20 feet over the streets of manhattan like a tree fort with two by fours under it nailed <laughs> it's like if you if you watched uh, slumdog millionaire you know yeah. the, the beautiful high rise yeah yeah that yeah. would be one radio show host area, and yeah. the rest of us are in the slums down We're below. We're running shoeless <laughs> through the mud, being chased by management. Falling in outhouses. <laughs> as they're pouring hot liquids in our eyeballs. <laughs> right, to, to make us behave. <laughs> behave and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just... You have to laugh. Yeah. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. Yeah. Let me just tell you. Or vomit. Yeah, but that honest, too. I just want a real answer. We just got to get you over here. No, we know what's happening. You're going to, like, give us this nice, cute little studio, and that's going to be it. Yeah, you got it. I 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 got it. Underappreciated. Undermarketed. They kind of hid you. I got it. I got it. I got it. See, but what I think is, I think Pal Talk. Uh, with the cameras, and especially since it's two-way, where we can see the listener. Yeah, yeah, I got it, 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 I got it. No, I know you got it. Uh, but see, we're able to see. It's like it's virtual studio guest. Right. If something's happening, I got, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. But what about Pal Talk? You don't got it, you don't got it, you don't got it, you don't got it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I got to interrupt, though, because we have a, a chunky update from our own Chunky Sam. update. Sam, what do you got on Sam? Chunky? Well, I was, the article was actually right. Really? Because oh. you ever listen to the radio and be like, oh, it's it's fun, but I wonder what it looks like in the studio. Oh, yeah. yes. Well, they actually posted video of Chunky on the radio talking about when he was walking up the stairs. But couldn't they post video of him actually walking up the stairs, Sam? Yeah. No, 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 when he was talking about because walking up the stairs. If it's all about in the now and and always being alert about what's going on in your environment, the DJ's environment, yeah. and all of a sudden you're like, wow, elevator doesn't work. I'm going to freaking videotape myself walking up 14 flights of stairs. Uh, Chucky? Yeah, we'd like to have the video <laughs> of you walking up the stairs, but we've been told by the lawyer... Uh, that the building people, for security reasons, don't want the stairwells videotaped. Um, so that's, we've, we've had to nix that. No, no, I gave it my best shot. I went in there and really fought for you. Yeah. How did I fight for you? I hit under my desk. Yeah, until it all blew over. Um, yeah, but to, to post a video, actually submit a video of you talking about it on the air. If it passes the lawyer's muster, then we will consider putting it up.
No, all the freedom in the world, Chunk. Yeah, <laughs> do your best. You're welcome here. No, we're discussing your firing now. <laughs> but it's okay. All right, Chunk. Have a good show. I hope this isn't too inside. That is no, exactly, no. Exactly, exactly what we had to deal with. That, that's pretty much it. <laughs> like, what does, oh, whatever. Oh, uh, God. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Chunky, um, look, we're, we're, we're working on this. I know uh, the budget really isn't that high, but we're working on a green screen. So we can green screen you walking upstairs and things like that. It's a, well, the lawyer's way around it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if that works. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No, that's been nixed. Okay. Yeah, the green screen's been nixed. We can't do that. We can't afford it. It's not in the budget. Sorry, Chunky. <laughs> All right, Chunk, sir. Yeah. So have you gotten back to us about the uh, candy bar promotion? What you want to do with it? Actually, it doesn't matter. We're going to do it anyway. Yeah. The sales runs the show. Right. Uh -huh. All right. But uh, I'm Chunky. So we got a Chunky. We got actual audio of what Chunky sounds like. Yes, this is um, audio of the video that was being taken while he was on the radio. I want to hear Chunky. You know I, what? I do too, but I want to have a little fun with this. I know a little something something about uh, Iraq. Iraq is a fan of the Top 40 Jock. Oh, I thought Iraq was a fan of fat people. Well, he's also a fan of the Chunk. <laughs> and mirrors. Yeah, yeah. Iraq, come in, come in here. He's a fan of the Chunk? Of course he is. No, I don't know if he's a fan of... He knows a lot about radio. Little known fact. It's he, a lot about shitty radio. Yeah, he Top did, 40. He did a, you, how many Top 40 stations you work uh, at? Two. Two, all right. You know enough, though. I want you to... Uh, Baby. I want you to imitate Chunky without ever hearing him. What are we about to hear from Chunky right now? Well, from what I've heard of him, uh, of, of him, and just knowing the top forty. Here comes format. a tank hankerous. Uh. <laughs> I'll say this: he's got a bit of an edge. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Sam! What a dick. Sam is so sarcastic. <laughs> a bit of an edge. <laughs> All right. Can't wait to hear that. Yeah. All right. From what I've heard, um, loud dance beat going behind him at all times. Really? Loud to talk. So that is his heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And after uh, the big walk up the stairs, <laughs> Ooh, very edgy. <laughs> and uh, he'll he'll give out the text. Don't do don't no, do. I'm not. No, he, he, he's or very, tank or whatever the he fuck. He breathes we very call heavy. At time. Yeah, I can right. tell. It's probably fat guy voice. He bre he breathes very heavy. He gives out the text so you can text him, and then he'll go. Uh, we're gonna take some more live calls. Uh, what's going on over there? Two second pause. What's going on over there? And then a phone call will start that has a bunch of beeps. Where is he from? Detroit. Detroit. What's he doing with a New York hat on? Well, now he's from New Now he's from New yeah, York. That's yeah. true. Now he used to be from he, Detroit. We're he, talking about dude, now. He's like a politician. When you become like uh, no, Hillary did fucking it. Fucking be a phony like that. Hillary did it. When you move to New York, all of a sudden you're uh, a New York sports fan. I was despised in Boston for my Yankee fucking right. fandom. Because you didn't embrace the now. Yeah. I got you, Sam. Okay. Now he's okay. in New York. <laughs> so he's got to talk about how he dropped his oh, phone boy. on 57th Street. Yes. It's local. Oh, boy. See, he's got to sound local. Anthony, uh, not good. Uh, Chunky, what? Chunky's uh, Twitter is uh, getting a few people. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Are some other people well, uh, tweeting? Somebody named Psychotic. Uh, writes, aside from picking food up and shoveling it between your teeth, what exercise do you get? When did you last see your cock? <laughs> Wait, who, who did Psychotic write that to? Uh, Chunky. Oh, no. Chunky oh, Radio. Oh, Chunky oh, Radio. Oh, no. Chunky Radio. Uh, oh, that was eight minutes ago. Sixteen minutes ago, J. Cred wrote, 92.3, now FM gayer than a bag of dicks. <laughs> uh... And then about 27 minutes ago, Pierce from uh, Whackbag. Yeah. Hardcore listener. He writes, Opie and Anthony were smashing you for your phony walked 14 flights of stairs story. Fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. Oh, boy. Come on, guys. So we should give this guy a chance. Guys. This is actual audio of Chunky. Yeah, oh, at yeah, our yeah, old yeah. radio station, which is now playing ten thousand songs in a row. I, I want to hear the old now playing now. 10, right, right. All right, here's the bad part. The bad part is, I'm a fat guy, and the elevator's broke today. On my oh my god, 
Just, hey, like, dude! Oh, it's this awesome rock hole. The elevator's broke, dude. I'm embarrassed that I know. Hey, it. come yeah. here, elevator repair man. I'm gonna <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> All right, Rocco, are you? Are you really? <laughs> are you really? Is that the elevator guy or is it Cowhead? <laughs> I'm going to kick his ass after another 60 minutes of nonstop music. Yeah, hey, by the way, Marriott, send over another fucking chafing dish of pasta. <laughs> I know the battle is they're going after Z100, but uh, yeah. Chunky sounds like every fucking DJ on Z100. They all have that exact oh, same. Uh, I am just disgusted. Disgusted. All right, let's listen. Well, guys, let's yeah. give him a chance. Exactly. Uh, all right. Yeah, Jimmy, explosions. you're right. You're right. All right. Here's the bad part. The bad part is I'm a fat yep. guy, and the elevator's broke today on my first day of work. Uh, 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 elevator. Elevator broke. Elevator broke. 14 flights of stairs. Didn't even lose a pound. And in my contract, uh, I was supposed to have some Subway sandwiches up here. And I'm not seeing any sandwiches, so actually this isn't my first day of work, but I'm actually gonna quit. Elevator, I had to climb up the stairs, 14th floor, elevator, oh my god, I quit. The elevator was broke, and there's no food, I quit. Holy shit. All right, they wrote about that in the fucking newspaper. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. He they didn't... wrote of a shut up. He didn't quit, I'm just saying, he didn't actually quit. Oh. Oh, not, okay, then yes, it's cool. All right. Quit. All right. David Hinckley is a boob. <laughs> Holy he's shit. A, he's an old man. What do you expect? He's an older man. <laughs> I never liked oh, the show. God. You know they're loving that in, in, in the corporate offices. They should oh, hire sorry. John Hinckley. Perfect. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God. you got to be kidding me. For real. Yeah. He's buying this. Mm hmm. They got a service elevator too for a fat fuck like that. Oh my god, they can bring freight up there. Big dumpsters. That made the paper. That break. Well, all six elevators and the service elevator broke. Everything. Yeah, That's everything. All news. at once. Yes. Yeah. That there's is big news when that happens. Enough electricity to power the radio station. <laughs> right. <laughs> to sure. Yeah. There. Yeah. I, I like to see their cost cost cutting things though, because his contract says he's getting paid in subway sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, that's par for the course. I got the official elevator count in that uh, building. Do you? Thirteen. There's thirteen elevators. Thirteen. So the odd number is the freight elevator. All thirteen elevators went down, huh? Yeah. See, when an elevator goes down in my building, and I only got three. Yeah. The other two always work. They're always work. I've never been in an elevator where the guy said, "Take the stairs." Because a lot of times you can't take the stairs. Right. <laughs> Plus, you could take the other set of elevators that starts the floor above K Rock. Yes. And yeah. just walk down And then one walk flight. down yes. one flight. Yeah. You've got gravity working with you. Yeah. It's one flight. So those must not have been working. See, he walked up 14 flights. So you're right. No, he didn't. No. Just a bunch of liars. This business is just filled with liars. It really I is. wouldn't even and care if it wasn't in the paper. Right. I swear I wouldn't even know about it if it wasn't in the paper. And they wrote about it like, like, like <laughs> it really happened. What's next, David Hinckley? An article on the Loch Ness Monster? Did you see it? Chunky. That evening, host Chunky. The elevator was broken one night last week. Where radio station 90 through 223 now broadcast, meaning evening host Chunky had to climb 14 stories to reach the studio. That's what it says. Yeah. There is an absolute lie as the first paragraph in the story. <laughs> it is a lie. God, I got it. I want to start writing a radio blog or, or for newspaper. Fuck the radio. Do the headline. Mo uh, Cloverfield Monster <laughs> destroys New York City. How about Cloverfield Monster climbs 14 yeah, flights? Right <laughs> Damn, I was right there. Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> Fucking asshole. It, it, it's beyond me. But wouldn't you? It didn't happen. <laughs> it, 
if you were the radio beat reporter, yeah, wouldn't you take that and then question it? Wouldn't that make a better read? Like, look, there's a D DJ saying he walked up 14 flights of uh, stairs. I've lived in New York my whole life. I'm sure Hinkley has. And that just doesn't seem possible. Yeah. And then get into the whole thing, why do radio guys have to lie? You know what I mean? That yeah. would be a good read. Instead of, like, m believing what this fat fuck said on a show. Oh. It's such a Rocco delivery, too. Dude, it really was. It was so Rocco. Yeah. Uh, and 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 uh, yeah, like you said, we before. say Rocco because Rocco used to lie through his teeth, act like a tough guy. Oh. He was. He was yeah. A... I broke into the boss's office and stole <laughs> these tickets. I'm going to be giving them away at 10:15 this evening. <laughs> well, if you stole them, wouldn't you just give them away instead of waiting for the specified time that the program director gave you to give them away? He bought into every like hacky radio bit that the PD threw at him. Hey, stole the tickets, dude. <laughs> he was the he stole the rock boss, right? Rocco, you're outrageous. You actually stole the tickets, dude. I stole the tickets. But, but Rocco, you're gonna get fired for that, aren't yeah, you? Dude, I don't care, dude. I'm a rebel. I got the tickets right here, and at ten fifteen, <laughs> I'm gonna be giving them away. Ten fifteen. That's right. That's what I thought of. But Rocco, uh, is that written in the program log? Why ten fifteen? Because I got to get all the new songs in first, like the PD told me to. <laughs> and he stole the rock bus, right? He yeah, stole the rock bus, dude. <laughs> We're driving around in now, it. Now, a lot of people working right now are heading to work. When you get to work today, <laughs> steal, steal a company vehicle. A company vehicle. <laughs> And then call work and brag about it. <laughs> <laughs> I stole the van. Dude, I'm in jail. Right. Not only would you be fired, you would be thrown in jail. <laughs> Unbelievable. But only in radio. Dude, I stole the rock bus. And then he would, quote, stop the rock bus to broadcast every 20 minutes. Which, yeah, yeah. Which was when you were supposed to talk on that radio station. So he'd pull the bus over. <laughs> Uh, power up the boom, raise the boom 60 feet in the air. Because this was 10 years ago when find, you still had to do that. Find the Marty, which could be shut down by the station. Well, yeah. Like, the station didn't have to accept this broadcast now that he's, it's Grand Theft Auto, uh, and, and, and hijacking the station. Right. But they would just let him go through. Yeah. Dude, I stole the rock bus, and and they're actually helping me with the broadcast. The engineer has hooked me up with the uh, uh, remote system. And then he would do, like, his babble, laundry list of the songs he played. Yeah. And then would come up with something like, oh, I think there ought to be. Lower the boom. Lower the boom. Cowhead, hit the gas. Ha <laughs> ha, we pulled it again. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're rock rebels. Yeah. Why would you be right back if you stole Why the Why would you take bus? commercial breaks? <laughs> when you just when you just broadcast? And when you just be cursing your ass off? <laughs> Jesus, you're still following yeah. the format as you stole the I mean, like, bus. fuck this guy. <laughs> I stole right. the bus. Oh, you'd be motherfuckering fuck everyone him. that works at the station. I'm ramming cars now <laughs> with the bus. <laughs> fuck it. I'm raping chicks when in you, the back. When I'm you, You'd, you'd be committing you'd, crimes. You'd be like that tank. Yeah, you're on a crime spree. Right. You're not, like, breaking for commercials. You're breaking for reading and then, liners. And then By the way, <laughs> AF will be down at 10th Show Club this evening. Right. He's reading station line. Still taking care of station business. Right. Even though he stole the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking fake. <laughs> And then he found his radio partner, of course. They picked the, you know, yeah. a random listener at Fenway. Fenway Park. <laughs> hey, I need a new radio partner, so we're going to be at Fenway Park, and we're going to give out a random ticket seat number. <laughs> and whoever's ever sitting in that seat is going to be my radio partner. And it just happened to be some guy with, like, 10 years radio experience. It so and... happened to be a guy that was trying to get on our show. We just didn't yeah. have room for him. And yeah. he, he did a bunch of bits for us, and the guy ended up being pretty cool. Birdsey. Holy shit. But he wasn't, all he wasn't the guy that was sitting in the seat. <laughs> right. You fucking... Well, he might have been that yeah, guy. Yeah, dude. But, what, but let me ask you, what happened if they would have picked a guy who didn't have had another job or lived out oh, of state and couldn't do it? Jimmy, it would have just been crazy. How could he do a show with that guy? And if he stole the tickets and said he was giving them away 10, 15, it was seven. Yeah. Why wouldn't the boss just come in and get them? And get them because they're there. He knows where they are. Yeah, and so you can't give these away. How about firing him <laughs> for stealing things? Yeah. He's obviously got a theft problem. <laughs> Wait, Rocco also lied about how he got fired. We got Rocco fans hey, calling? Dude. We can't get enough 
of Rock <laughs> Rock Hole. We talk about Rock we Hole. We call him Rock Hole. <laughs> rock Hole. Do you still dislike that guy, or would you have talked about I don't, I, I don't give a shit. I don't care. Way. It's like, yeah, I have no it's good fodder anything for, the show. for him. Why don't you get him on the show? We it's should call him. It's funny. Who I, knows? I, I, honestly, I wish him nothing but the best. There's only yeah. one guy I don't wish uh, the best on, and that's uh, the Hillman. <laughs> yeah, get him on the phone. Worcester Chrysler Plymouth, Rocco <laughs> speaking. Rocco, you're on the air. Yeah. I am. I haven't been on air in years. I'm selling cars, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, quick, buy this car because I'm going to steal it at 10.15. <laughs> he's still doing hack radio things right. while he's selling cars. Is he selling cars? I think That's so, We yeah. heard last. A lot of those guys fell on hard times. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I, whatever. Good, whatever. Uh, Vin, what's up? Oh, I remember living in New Hampshire, and you guys, um, you guys were on. And Rocco was—he claimed that he was hired for the station because he was driving on the highway, listening to AFS, and or basically AF. said, uh, "Oh, I like the station so much. I wanted to. I went in and asked if I could sweep the floors for them, but they gave me this DJ job instead." <laughs> oh my God, he came from no! Florida. He came up from Florida. I, 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 th I think he I was got, hired by Dave Douglas. I got some old uh, Friday morning quarterbacks, and there he is with yeah. like, a different station logo on his yeah. big fat sweatshirt. Some Florida station before <laughs> oh us, and, and he replaced Scorch. Yeah, they oh. fired Scorch to bring him well, in because Scorch was pizza. Or pizza, hamburger? and they were like, yeah. "I'm hamburger, lots of it." <laughs> Scorch used to lie all the time too. Another guy <laughs> there, yeah. Scorch was suspended for two weeks for something, and. He claimed he stole the, the the band and was driving around town saying, "Hi, Opie and Anthony back, or we're not. I'm not gonna give the van back." And he was doing the same exact bit. The whole I stole the van. Oh, stole God. the van bit. I'm I'm suspended starting tomorrow. Thank God I made reservations to go down to Florida two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and my suspension lasts as long as my vacation. I used to love that. That's what that's what fucked us up because. When we were growing up in this business, we were such idiots, and we were getting suspended all the time, and we got fired officially, what, yeah. uh, three times, I think we're up to? And uh, no one really believed it, because all these other radio guys were doing the fake suspension bit. During their vacation, It was yeah. a staple of uh, edgy radio, where they would they would fire or suspend the jock around vacation time believe. all the time. Yeah. I never... So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if a jock had vacation coming up, they would brainstorm with the program director. Yeah. What can we do? Yeah. You got to do something outrageous. Yeah. And then I'll run like a because the program director always wanted to be on the air. Yeah. So he would go into the studio and make a tape. Uh, we regret to inform you that the uh, afternoon show Rocco right. or the, the night show Rocco will not be on. Uh, he has been suspended for stuff that we do not find. Uh, and, and he would do a big thing. and uh, Yeah, we'll do that. Scorch did that. I'm in trouble, <laughs> dude. Whoa, I shouldn't have did that. Scorch did the fake. Uh, yeah, he did it while I was there. He had because. He was. He took a week vacation, so his co-host hosted, right. and his co-host started the show the first day by saying the station suspended Scorch for a week, and so he for was, what though? Was he, didn't say, he, he didn't say. He didn't say. He didn't say. We couldn't think of anything. Totally nude. Scorch also used to make me uh, go home and write emails for him every single night because he liked to do emails and play the email song at eight fifty every day, <laughs> but nobody ever emailed. No one ever emailed. Never. We never so got you one had email. to write I wrote the every, email. Every single email that was on the air, I wrote. Because <laughs> he liked to play the email. Because he liked to play the email. Sound. I want to play the email sound. It was like a techno Score. beat. Really? And I went e e email. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he just loved playing it. Holy shit! He used, he used to drive his car as Paulie insane. Because <laughs> he just lied about everything. He ate scorch. Who loves Scorch? Colin Quinn. Colin Quinn loves Scorch. Colin's a huge fan uh, of the Scorch. We look Scorch. at uh, the email. We'll see who's uh, emailed in. Scorch lied to the point that he didn't tell his co-host, Paulie, yeah. that he was moving from Syracuse to New Hampshire yeah. until the night before his last show, yeah. even though he knew four months ahead of time. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and told me, the intern, four months ahead of time that he was going to New Hampshire. He didn't tell yeah. Paulie until the night before he left. Wow. By the way, tomorrow's going to be our last show because uh, I'm going to New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a prick. Why did he take his calls with him? He couldn't. He was getting paid very little money. Yeah. Good and old so, Scorch. 
I'm trying to remember the Scorch bits when we were at a... Uh... Well, did you know Scorch invented uh, Fields for Meals? <laughs> really? Yes. What wow. Is he, what is he, insane? He gave you the idea. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He told me. <laughs> what? Holy <laughs> shit. What a liar. Yes, he did. He it's one of me. our greatest bits we never... Uh... One of Scorch's greatest bits. We... No. Fucking Scorch. He it's one of our me. greatest bits that lawyers shut down year after year. He said you guys got to borrow from each other. What the fuck? <laughs> what did we ever about? take of Scorches? Feels for Meals. Oh, my God. Feels for Meals is the greatest. You also did a lot ever. with douche dressing. That well, was Scorches, too. Uh, we never did well. douche dressing. He said you he did. Mo- no, we <laughs> mocked douche dressing. Douche dressing. Also, yeah. he should be coming to XM by December 2005. He told me that, too. <laughs> right, right. Remember? So, he was going to be on he's XM. He's been in conversation. So we so. got to get we got to get that time machine working. Right. Yes. So he should be here by Christmas 2005. He, he thought he was coming to XM? He told me. Yeah, he told me. Oh. I started talking to him in uh, probably <laughs> August, and he wow. said by Christmas he should be at XM. And then he said, at once Christmas hit, he said he should be there by the spring and just kind of moved with every season. Yes. That's what every, every jock does. He I actually, am. Uh, he made up like nice. conversations. He this, said he was talking to Kevin Straley, and that they came from the same hometown, and they were on the phone for like forty-five minutes, just talking. <laughs> you just made that up. <laughs> it's, it's like you made that up, you didn't you? Made that up. <laughs> you made that up. You don't. You can't tell re- reality from. He just makes up he's Rupert Pumpkin. Yes. Can we, uh, I was talking with him. Can we get some more chunky audio? I want to hear yeah. it today. You know what? It's kind of. It kind of is nice to know that now. Now. I'm gonna use the word now. There is uh, shit. Somebody that's that shitty on in New York, so we can actually listen and, and kind of uh, uh, hear how how hacky it is. God, that was awful, and it was in the paper. Mm-hmm. If you want, you guys can review his air checks from tonight, tomorrow morning, because I'll be monitoring. Well, thank God for you, Sam. <laughs> I listen anyway, you know. Oh, of course you would. It's chunky. Are you are you tweeting your orange? It's called a Texas grapefruit, and it's delicious. Yeah. By the Texas way, it's, grapefruit. It's not as good as Chunky's video of him talking about walking up the stairs, but the video of Erock getting grapefruit juice squeezed in his eye is up on YouTube. Oh, is it? That yes. is a classic. Is it good, Sam? Yes, it is. It's on YouTube.com slash Erock fan. See, that's got everything. Yeah. Drama. Pain. Mm-hmm. It runs the gamut. I and E Rock being abused. Wow. E Rock in great pain. Someone's asking what Ozone's doing. There was a rumor he <laughs> became a woman. I mean, th- that was Scorch. Scorch said that. Oh, Scorch. <laughs> Scorch, the compulsive liar, he said. He makes things up all the time. That he, he seriously, and dude, he was serious when he said it. Wait, let's say I'm telling. I'm sorry. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't yeah, yeah. Get no, he word. called in to the show. He this called in to the show. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, he called in and we were asking him about ozone, and he said, "Yeah, I heard that he, uh, I heard that he uh, had a sex change operation." And what was his new name? Oh, I don't even remember. I forgot him. Stephanie or yeah, something. Yeah, straight face. Like, no, I swear to God. No, no, he did. He did. I heard he got the uh, sex change operation. And then somebody called up. He's a and girl said, now. No, it's not true at all. He's broadcasting no, out of the city. Yeah, he's broadcasting. I listened to his show. I think he's yeah. fine. He, yeah. No, I must have heard wrong. No, no, no. He did. He. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> hey, uh, good news. Chunky Radio is getting a lot of people replying to. Us oh, Twitter. okay. Wow. Probably more. Uh, he's probably gonna look at like. Yeah. Wow, a lot of it. Like when you first <laughs> see it, and you go like, "All right, I'm a hit already. I'm a hit in New York." And then this was easier goes, than oh, I thought. Oh no! And just goes, "Oh no!" Just make this guy's life miserable. Oh no! And then he can't respond because the program director would kill him yeah. if he mentioned our names. He's he's doubled his followers in the last hour. Nice. <laughs> what is he up to? Uh, Twenty now? Uh, Forty-one. Oh wow! Uh, Club uh, Stoic writes. Uh, guess what? I love pancakes. <laughs> 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 uh, steep drop man. I'm sitting here looking out my window, watching your sad radio career burn to the ground. <laughs> J cred to Chunky Radio. Did you roll a bucket of marbles down the steps when you got to the top? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Maggot. Chunky Radio is a fat cunt. David Hinckley, eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's to the point. Uh... Kevin from Connecticut, wow, I could hear the steaks in your throat. 
<laughs> and then this guy writes, I loved your cameo in Operation Dumbo Drop. <laughs> oh, could have picked a better movie. Wow. His, his Twitter followers are as bad as he is. Yeah. Step it up. Jesus. All right. Anything else on Scorch or Rocco or, or the Chunkster? Or Chunk. There's always more Scorch. We'll just save it. Oh, Scorch yeah. is a legend. Scorch. He's a gold mine. But he's going to get this tape and really... <laughs> Yeah, you're talking about me again. Give him the boys material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, look what I'm doing. It's going to be time. in his intro now. Uh, me saying Scorch is a legend. <laughs> look what I'm yes. doing. <laughs> yeah, Opie thinks I'm a legend. So, That's you know. uh, Opie from the Opie Dandy Show. Always thought I was a oh, legend. Always came in every day and goes, uh, Scorch, you're a legend. <laughs> I taught him a couple things, you know, but. I taught him things. Uh, Fears for Meals, that was me. <laughs> yes. Homeless shopping spree, me. I gave him that one. It was all, all me. me. Me, me, me. He always talked about how you guys thought he was the most badass dude ever. <laughs> For the time he sat in the coffin with the Undertaker, the Undertaker. No, said, oh, yes. Yes. He said, "Let me explain he said, the coffin thing." Oh my God! Oh, my God. He said, "Those guys wouldn't do it," so I was like, "Yeah, I'll do it," and they were like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! This, we were like, "Whoa!" Yeah. This oh. is this is how lame. <laughs> this is how lame that bit was. Oh, they came God. to Aunt and I. I think they were playing, uh, I think the WWF <clears throat> at the time is WWF. Worcester Centrum. Was it Worcester Centrum? Yeah. And a big promotion. You know, we were behind wrestling for the most part. And they're like, look, you guys have to sit in the coffin seats ringside for the entire <laughs> match. It was some kind of Undertaker thing. Yeah, I, we asked, what are the coffin seats? Yeah. They go, the seats, they kind of look like coffins. Right. And I'm like, you know, eh, well, we'll have to look at this. Uh, it, it's spelled just, it just dripped of hack it radio. It reeked <laughs> of <laughs> reeked. hack awful, you, we wouldn't do this radio. We're going to sit in front of all our, like, you guys listeners. Are, you guys are spinning this. Scorched on me. <laughs> yeah. So we got there, and we're like, no fuck, give us... We, we, when we got there, we saw that these seats, <laughs> these, quote, seats... Were nothing more than pine box coffins. Not even they good. They built them <laughs> and propped up your head <laughs> on some blocks, like the, the so the coffin was tilted so you could kind of see in yeah. the the ring, and we were to lay down in these coffins. Right. While well, real and men the were match. doing their silly wrestling moves. Yeah. <laughs> Scor yeah, Scorch did say you guys were afraid of the coffin. Yeah. Okay. Afraid of the coffins? I looked at that. Looked at Open. You go. There is no. Fucking way in hell! I am watching this match from those uh, 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 coffins. Yeah. So we watched from no douchephobic. Oh, right. I, I, it was the worst thing you could do. You'd look like an asshole. So we stood back by like by the w where you come in. Yeah, where the wrestlers came in. Kinda. The rotunda. Yeah, we we it was yeah. like the rotunda entrance. And the, and the salespeople and management at the station panicking. But 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 we we we're said obligated. You guys, you guys got it. And they're scorched. I'll do it. <laughs> and so they that saved the day. I'm like, all right, Scorch, you know, a big wrestling fan, enjoy the coffin seat. Scorch laid right in there. He's cheering from the coffin. <laughs> yeah, go get him. Go get him. Was Scorch in his wrestling character, Vito Carlucci? Uh, no, he was just Scorch at the time. <laughs> Vito Carlucci. Vito Carlucci. Yes, he's the wrestling manager, by the way. Vito he Carlucci. Gave, he, yeah. gave, he brought Triple H into the wrestling. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> he, yes, he Scorch <laughs> is a compulsive liar. <laughs> he basically discovered <laughs> Triple H, I forgot about Not that. Basically, one, so. he brought Triple H <laughs> into wrestling because he was doing it first. Yes, yeah, and, and then he Vito was. As, and what, and what, what was Triple H doing before he was a wrestler? Nothing. He was just a, like he, he, he was, was just saw him in the gym. Saw him in the gym and yeah. said, "Hey, I got something for you." He's just like working wow. out. Wow. Scorch was like, you know, you got the look. You got, this is Scorch's vision. It's you're not gonna, Vince McMahon. You're gonna go far, kid. Yeah. I can see that. Come here. Do you think Triple H knows Scorch? <laughs> no. <laughs> Triple H has no idea who Scorch is. What's your name? Hunter. Uh, why don't we say Hunter Hearst Helmsley? Uh, we'll probably... just call you Triple H. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. That's good. That's classic. Even if you called him by his wrestling name, Vito Carlucci, I don't think Triple H would tell who he was. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know a Vito Carlucci? <laughs> Never heard of him. Was he gay? No, that was Vito Carlisi. <laughs> <laughs> Young Vito Carlisi, Ellis Island, yeah. stuck in a cock. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, is that funny, man? <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys were too scared to sit in the coffins, but Scorch manned up. Yeah, well, we were scared. Yeah. A, a Scorch, uh, yeah, That's he's what he a man. he tells everybody? Yes, he said you were afraid of the coffins. We went up to him and goes, Scorch. 
<laughs> we're not sitting in the coffin seats. If you want to take them, feel free. He's like, all right, yeah, I'll take it. He laid down in there. He, his arms are flailing as he's cheering. He kicked back. He crossed his feet. He thought it was so badass. He thought it was so cool to be in there. <laughs> and we were just like, a video of this. I remember seeing this on TV because oh. that's the other thing. We would have been on TV, which would yeah, yeah. more douchey. No way in fuck I was sitting in that goddamn coffin. <laughs> you weren't TV afraid of it? Time. No, it wasn't a fear. Thing. It was a fear of looking so bad. Dude, it looked ridiculous. And this was coming from the two assholes that did bra, bra bombing. So right. <laughs> that's how bad it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if you're afraid of coffins. Kamala was afraid of coffins. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. We should I'm not first afraid. Break. That was badass. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Badass. That was badass. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What a fucking tool. He just is a compulsive liar. That's <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> Could you get me more chunky audio? Of course. Yeah, some chunky audio would be good. Of course. Yeah, because I want to hear that beat in the background. I want to hear how he's like, he's the I want to I quit. I'm quitting after day one. It's like, well, he's, he's the, you might not want to quit. <laughs> he's, he's the new star of New York Radio, so we got you know we got to yeah. be on top of our game. We got to see what the the new star of now. Now. New York Radio is doing. David now. Hickley's a douche. He, he, <laughs> yeah, we got under his skin. It was yeah, probably me. He don't like us Whatever. anymore. But the, we we gave him some good fodder for stuff, and he just ignored all of it. All yeah. of it. He's an irrelevant old man. Yeah. He's right. He he bought into this dopey That's little the, radio thing. The, the first paragraph is a reporting. It isn't even like a commentary. He reported on something that never happened. Right. And why didn't he like report that? Even though this uh, this ninety two three now is doing all this like social networking with their radio station, that yeah. no one is really signing up yet. It's yeah. A, it's a complete bust. Yeah. Look at the numbers and see like that. There's nobody. Our, uh, our fans are, are flooding stupid Chunky's Twitter account. Thousands. How many did he have before uh, today started? I believe it was approximately 20. Yeah, 20. 20. Why didn't Hinkley mention that? Well, I think the Now Radio Twitter has like at least 300. <laughs> oh, my God. It just, it's beyond me. Uh, I don't understand it. I, I, I don't know. I'm a Chunky follower now. Are you? You bet I am. You're following Chunky? I certainly am. All right. Should be. Yes. Well, Son of a bitch. Now I gotta... Let's all uh, uh, patiently wait for a Chunky update. All right. Yeah. Let me get on my Twitter and... What do you think he's going to tweet? I don't know. He's probably getting emails yeah. from all this. You know, he probably still gets emails when people follow him. Yeah. So all of a sudden, Jim Norton, Anthony Cumia, and Opie Radio. Are <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to lose his fucking mind on this one. Oh, what? And we should just ride him. We're, we're, we're keeping a very close eye on you, fatso. We're watching. Yeah, just someone writing like a lot Someone tweet that for us, all right? We're keeping an eye on you, fatso. That's right. And I had a nice intro because uh, we were gonna we were gonna like kind of throw the ball around a little bit, but the first phone call. Li ah, listen to Chunk Radio last night. It sucks. <laughs> Chunk Radio. <laughs> Chunky in New York. You're on the line. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sam did a very good job. We got a few tracks of Chunk Radio for everybody today. But yeah, I, I, but I didn't want to start there. No. Well, let's uh, get let's let this guy be a star for a second. Chris on Long Island, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, not too much. Um, I listen to Chunky Radio, and it's awful. <laughs> it, he has that titty, echoey background with a music bed playing. Yeah, and it, it sucks. Sam is an ass for liking that shit. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> now, are you being sarcastic back to Sam's sarcasm? Yeah. No, he really sucks. It's, it's fucking awful. All right. Thank you, Chris. Oh, my God. I appreciate it. All Sam right. is a genius, All right, apparently. Dust. All right. Thank you. I'm Sam is a dust. genius. People actually believe. Sam, why do you like this chunky radio? Well, number one, <laughs> it's, uh, it plays the music that the kids are listening to, that we're listening to. And it's now. You are, yeah. Yeah. You're now. Number two, it's interactive. So it's like it's topics you can relate to, and it's stuff you know you want to hear other people's opinions on. Yeah. Look how he says it. Yeah, his face is straight. He uh... yeah. Well, you asked me a question, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying we're just too old to understand what the kids are into these? Uh, we might not know into, now. Into these days. Well, maybe you want to you know give Chunky a listen. We you probably might, should. I mean, 
you know what? Give them a listen and don't be afraid to learn something. Yeah. That's right. what I would say. Yeah, just listen to them with an open ear. Are we going to... Uh, uh-huh. So you want to start with Chunky Radio? We weren't going to. But... <laughs> well, you know something? I really want to hear what has been culled from the program yeah. and yeah. Uh, what, uh, what qualifies as just... This fantastic radio. People are going to be uh, confused by our, our obsession with Chunky Radio. Yes. Thinking Why? maybe there's a little jealousy in the air here. Well. Because we were yanked off the air for, for programs like Chunky Radio. Yes. Yeah. It's, does uh, he call it Chunky Radio? Or, yeah. Or He does? Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, really? It's oh, Chunky Radio. Boy. It's Chunky Radio, all right. Oh, I'm boy, jealous boy. of his producers. Chunky yeah. oh, yeah. Smelly. Are they good? Full of peanuts. They gotta be. It sounds good, you know. Top notch, right? That's how you rate a producer, Top I think. Top notch. Yeah. Good news for Chunky, too. Um, his Twitter account is exploding. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, is it? Yesterday, oh, he had no. 24 followers. Uh, today, he has 244. <laughs> All right. So he had almost te- he almost tenfolded. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, because Hankley talking about this new technology, like, you know, Chunky was on top of it. Like he uh, is on the cutting edge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's up to 244 followers, and th- those people get to hear him talking about, you know, walking up 14 fake flights of uh, stairs. Fake stairs. Fake stairs and stuff. With his fake tiredness. Unfortunately, uh, him going from 24 followers to 244 followers. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of those would be our listeners. Oh, no. No. Yeah, I no. thought because of the newspaper thing. Well,. Travis said that we'd be here all day, so he just he just got the best of the best <laughs> of some of the comments left for Chunky Radio all right. on his Twitter I'd account yesterday. Love to hear some. Uh, sat, uh, this guy's from Canada. He writes, I'm in Canada, and I know you suck goblin cock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Imagine that, fat boy. <laughs> Pete Rose haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let those O and A assholes bum you out. You're good at your job, and remember that he loves you. Praise his name, <laughs> Frunkus three sixteen. What a suit. Pete Rose haircut. Pete yeah. Rose haircut said that. Cigars and Scotch writes. Oh. Looking forward to Casey Steakum's top 40 obesity related medical <laughs> ailments countdown. This guy's probably looking at his his Twitter going, What did I do wrong? Yeah. What happened? Why are these dicks? <laughs> <laughs> wrong place at the wrong time, my yeah, friend. What can I tell you? He just showed up and punched in. Oh, radio. Why does everyone oh. not like me? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, you know, he, he thinks he's a veteran in this business, but he's in the big town now. So yeah. guess what? Deal with it. E-bar 0811. Stick that Subway sandwich up your fat fucking ass, you <laughs> fucking phony. <laughs> wow. Right to the point. I yeah. like that. I think it's Brucey Poose. P-O-O-S-E. Bet you want to take that uh, horse's cock in your fat ass. <laughs> Hack fucking douche. Do the bit. Do the bit. <laughs> HTLS69, that's his Twitter name, uh, writes, Nice fake story about the stairs, fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we could be reading these all day, like I said. Travis it's just brutal. got the best of the best. So if, if, if this is one of yours, then congratulations. It's all you made excited. the Travis cut. Yeah. Hey, I'm on New York radio, finally. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk about, like, New York, uh, you know, 57th Street, how I dropped my phone. I'll mention a street in Manhattan. So I could kind of blend in. I think people like me. Some yeah. horse pee. Yeah, yeah. Talk about the horses because they have yeah. the horse-drawn carriages. And then he gets to Twitter about how that horse's <laughs> cock should be up his fat, <laughs> fat yeah. ass. You know, I didn't even make that connection. <laughs> I was thinking they were just going back to that horse farm video. Oh, I yeah. forgot that this is referencing yeah. his dumb, dumb oh, horse yeah. taking a leak in the street bit. Oh, yeah. Fudgy Wudgy Bars writes, um, <laughs> Sup, Chunky Puss. <laughs> Fudgy Wudgy Bars. <laughs> Uncle Rico, 23, don't bother. You stink at radio. Text Monster, you're a disgrace to fat kids everywhere. I hope you go into uh, a diabetic shock and die. <laughs> And Jess from Canada writes, sup, fat tits. What, does he use the word supper a lot? Oh, my kids do. I mean, that's what... Oh, right. well, that's what you, that's yeah, now. That's so, the way they, the, the sure. kids are talking now. Bill, sup, guys? Bill 5121 writes, 92.3 now is gayer than five dicks in one man's ass. <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite. It's just, I don't know, it's so basic, but it just works. Green Guy 89 writes... 
How's Twitter working out for you, shit dick? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a couple more. <laughs> R.F. Frenchie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Huge fat people's sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> Griffith, uh, the horse piss looked like Mountain Dew, question mark. I bet the light posts were made of chocolate and the road was paved with gumdrops, you mess. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. That's hilarious. <laughs> and, oh, and one of uh, the people I follow, Heather Height. Uh, she writes, you really wanted that horse to titty fuck you? Oh, oh you really, uh, no question mark, sorry. You really wanted that horse to titty fuck you, you fat cunt. <laughs> All replies to Chunky Radio on Twitter. Yes. He's got 244 followers, setting New York on fire. He's probably all excited when he saw all the followers. He's like, wow. He's probably just like, like what's, why is this happening? I didn't it's do anything. amazing. No, uh, wow. he, he's a radio douche, so he's thinking, oh, look, it's starting to take off a little. Look. Yeah. My little 20-second, you know, uh, raps between the songs. Yeah, with the they're, music they're playing with over me. People. Right. Yuck. You got audio, Sam? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening last night, as I always do, and I figured I'd run as tape I this time. I always do. Listen to this <laughs> fucking idiot. idiot. <laughs> what else am I going to listen to at night? Uh, when is, he, uh, when is he on? From 7 to 11 p.m. here in the East Coast. Oh, why are we wasting time with a night jock? I thought he was like prime time. I thought he was afternoon, like yeah, from the, the story in the paper. Didn't it say afternoons? Afternoons is Tic Tac. <clears throat> Tic Tac and Chunky? What? Tic Tac. You guys don't know Tic Tac? No. No. Maybe yeah, we should listen to Tic Tac next. Well, not in the now. Tic Tac? Tic Tac. Chunky? Tic Tac and Chunky. It's for the kids. It's fucking candy bar and to fucking. It's back to back. Candy station. That's oh, right. wonderful. Oh, who's, who's in the morning? Tums? <laughs> <laughs> Peptin AC in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what 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 is what is Chunky um working yeah. on? What was he well, what was he what was he riffing on yesterday? Well the beauty of Sam, he gave us a few little things here. He gave us some chunky production. Because every good radio sh show needs production. That pew, pew, pew. it helps yeah, introduce yeah. the listener. That way I figure if we play that first, we could all be better introduced to Chunky. Yeah. All righty. Yeah, you know, we have that nice lost uh production we're doing oh, to I start like our that. show, yeah. right? Ooh, this is what Wednesday. Chunky's doing. Ooh. And it's Whip Him Out Wednesday as well. Chucky's favorite movie, Relate to Female Listeners Sweeper. Yes. Uh, relate to Female <laughs> Listeners Sweeper. Did you dub it that, uh, Sam? Uh, I did write that. Uh, you, you, okay, I was wondering if maybe that was like All right. elaborated on it. Chunky, for some reason, wanted me to tell you that he cried during the notebook and P.S. I Love You. It's Chunky. 3 Now FM. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Boo! 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 Rubbish, filth, slime, muck. What's that? Princess Bride. Ah, that's good. That is good. Oh, my God. That, uh, oh, hockey fight last night, huh? Yeah, there was a rare hockey fight yeah. last night. Yeah. Wow, look at that. The gloves come off. The was that Avery, though? Why don't they finish showing the... F the oh, God. Fucking Avery. That's what we want to see. Sean Avery jump-started the damn Rangers out of nowhere. Oh, but I love that guy. Mm. Sean Avery rules. And he's Chunky. On, and he's on... Sorry. <laughs> you, you hate hockey talk. Nah, I don't mind hockey talk, but it's he's chunky. Just, chunky. He's just one of those old-school players. That's all I want to say. Old-school hockey. And he's, you know... I hate the Rangers. I'm an Islander fan, but I love that Avery. All right, Chunky Sweeper with a fat joke. What's this about there, Sam? What? Well, one of the things I... Self-deprecating fat joke? That's what so, I... So he's hiding uh, his misery of being a slob behind a little <laughs> bit of humor? Is that what he does? Oh, no. I'm sure he loves reading those Twitters about what a fat <laughs> fuck he is. Oh, that's got to hurt. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just a fun guy who likes to have a good time. Jolly, fat, jolly, fat man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... Glad to know they're moving on at our old joint <laughs> yeah. with, with this crap. The only radio disc jockey that sweats ranch dressing. Chunky Radio. Now FM. <laughs> oh, get it. FM, fat motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he sweats ranch, ranch dressing. Ranch dressing. Yeah, See, he's because he's so guy. fat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> a bigger guy. 
Oh, God. But, I mean, you can make those jokes. If everybody's having a good time, like, no yeah. feelings get hurt. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so far, he's relating to the female list. I've... He's doing that self-deprecating humor. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, you need some kind of sweeper that makes you feel like you're part of the local scene, man. Yeah. Oh, no. Where, where is he from? Uh, New York, now. Uh, okay, look. Where is he from? <laughs> well, the last job was Detroit. So. Yeah. All right, Detroit. And I'm sure when he was in Detroit, he was all about Detroit. That was then. He's probably a Tigers fan. Oh, I'm sure. Went to the Lions sure. games. Auburn's, what's it called? All the Palace in Auburn's Hills? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now he's uh, now he's New York. He's right. all about the Big Apple now, right? Now. He thinks the Statue of Liberty looks like his ex-girlfriend. It's Chunky on 92.3. Now FM. Oh, uh, what a ham-handed fucking attempt to uh, be local. Who the fuck is writing these lines? Why does she look like his ex-girlfriend? She has a lot of men inside of her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guarantee... That our listeners could write better chunky lines within seconds. You yes. know what it should Who's be? Who's writing this shit? Oh, no, it's <laughs> chunky. The choker's here. <laughs> oh, hide your lunch. He's fat. <laughs> Chunky's coming up the stairwell. <laughs> if you want to be local, how about Chunky thinks his ex-girlfriend's pussy smells like Staten Island. <laughs> 92.3 now. <laughs> Could some, somebody should Twitter some, some lines to help him out at least. Yes, help him. Yeah, help out the chunkster. Yeah. Well, now we go into actual Chunky breaks. Yeah, what... Ah, uh, what, here's what we're waiting for. Between the songs, you know, you're listening to some of what's now, you know, your favorite songs. <laughs> your favorite. And... Chunky will do like little thought starters, uh -huh. and you can call or text or whatever, and just contribute your own opinions on whatever Chunky might feel like talking about that day. Yeah. Wow! By the way, someone makes a good point. They hung up. For him to sweat ranch dressing, he would actually need to eat a salad. <laughs> 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 Great line. The guy couldn't wait around. So whoever you are, <laughs> bravo! All right. <laughs> Ready? Bunch of dicks to listen to <laughs> they, they rule. That's why you want them on your side, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we set this up nice, right? Yeah, up? yeah. Ready to hit? Oh, yeah. I right, this chunk. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Listen to that bed. It's a bass. It's like you're, you're trying to listen to somebody <laughs> when one of those cars used to drive up next to you. Right. And that isn't too now. Well. <laughs> With a vibrating fucking car would pull up next to you and you can't hear shit. Yeah. That's what Chunky's using as a bed. The music's just there to let you know the party hasn't stopped just because, you know what I mean? Like, we're still going. We're yeah. still moving. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make a great PD someday. Yeah. <laughs> with your bullshit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, right, this is Chunky Radio, 92.3 Now FM. The phone number is 866-990-4487. Ladies, today just feels like one of those days for ladies where your boyfriend could do nothing right. I've seen a lot of domestics going on on 57th Street today. Today must have been that day where men did nothing right. So I want you to call in right now, 866-990-4487. That's weird because we walk up and down 57th Street too, and I didn't see not, not one bit let, slap. Let, let me explain something. We've walked up 57th for years now. Mm -hmm. Every single day. I've never seen a domestic. Is he saying domestic violence? He said it was all over yes. 57th people Street. People don't live on Jimmy. people people work on 57th they, yeah. Street. <laughs> it's not couples strolling hand in hand on 57th. How yeah. about 110th Street? Then I'd believe you. Yeah, <laughs> then I believe. You. <laughs> Jimmy uh, Jimmy makes a really uh, good point cuz if you want to be part of like the New York culture and you're mentioning 57th Street Everybody knows that it's it's a working midtown yeah. area yeah. with a yep. lot of just office buildings and a lot of women in pantsuits and guys in their suits, and that's it. You don't see, like you guys said, the couple thing yeah, whatsoever. It's not, it's not a stroll down, like it's not uh, you know, Central Park South right. or uh, you know, anywhere by going into the park or, or anywhere where there's couples strolling downtown. Yeah, and he's got the whole city to choose from. He goes, all yeah. you have to do is say the Upper West Side, the Upper it's East not, Side. It's uh, not Delancey. Right. The Somewhere Village. where people might be, yeah, going to a club or something. Right. Holy 
fucking shut up, you fat ass. It's like moving to L.A., right, and going, well, my house on Sunset Strip. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Sunset Strip. You know, I was hanging out at Hollywood and Vine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. I was at the Brown Derby. Wow. Well, died in the wool local, aren't you? <laughs> How oh. bad you want to be local, my God. Well, I know. Just Shut get up. Stupid stop bit it. And stop trying to tie it into something that doesn't exist. They have to you don't be climb pounding st- him. You idiot. You don't climb stairs and, <laughs> yeah. and, and bitches aren't getting slapped on 57th Street. Shut up. You, they must be pounding him. You got to get local. Yeah. Forget about uh, the past. You're, you're New York now. <laughs> so just when you say something... Just add a local twist, a street, uh, a, a landmark. Ugh. You could do the same story, but just localize it. Shut up! Did nothing right. So I want you to call in right now, 866-990-4487. I want you to tell me why your boyfriend is about to get dumped. He's on the verge of getting dumped. Why is he about to get dumped? Maybe you could give him a little warning sign. Let him know he's about to get dumped. Maybe he'll shape up. You can text me at 69923. Call Chunky Radio right now and let me know why your man is about to get dumped. And he hit the post, wow. baby. You see that? Wow. He, he hit, hit the, the post. post. Yes, nice. he did. All As right. he was All playing right. the bed over the music, which just was 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 neck-twistingly bad. <laughs> <laughs> That was just him farting through the entire <laughs> break. <laughs> oh. Just making some room for dinner, aren't you, fatso? <laughs> Come up with a different street, too. You made a 57th Street reference yesterday. Yeah. Oh, did he? Everything happens on 57th Street. Yeah, yeah he did. That's where, he, where did he see the horse? Wasn't it around 57th yeah, Street? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And by just, the way, there are no horses on 57th Street. They never take those never. handsome but, cabs down. They cross over 57th, sometimes down Broadway. You guys don't understand, though. If you're as fat as Chunky, yeah. you know, you're, the, the area you could move within yeah. is a mere couple of blocks. That's it. So to him, it's just the whole world is 57th, 57th Street. Street. But the, because he works there. He works at, so everything's 50. He works on 57th, so it's all 57th. I live, work, and play on 57th Street. <laughs> and all we heard about was local content. Local, 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 local. Mm-hmm. And we gave him their local. Yep. And we did what, you know, it, it, oh, God, this is disgusting. Ah, it'll fail miserably. They're going to get a, a nice pop of the ratings because they're doing 10,000 songs in a row. Yeah. So <laughs> Shut up, Sam. Commercial free. Sam, just the way he says, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, that, I'm digging it. That's that is going to drop like a rock in the Hudson. In the Hudson River. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 shit. It, right. it. Hey, slow down, I Chunky. Yeah, at 57th Street. Yes, 57th <laughs> and the Hudson. That's it. Uh, yeah. wow. Can we get that bed? I, I want to do it all that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk over that and just yell like chunky radio right, was. you talk, I'll do the bed. <laughs> ah, yeah! We're on 57th Street. I'm looking out the window and wow, what's going on here? It's like a big New York thing going on. <laughs> plink, plink, plink. Gonna uh, well, I, I can't, I can't wait until the Fourth of July for the fireworks display out on Fifty Seventh Street. <laughs> <laughs> no idiot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Chunkies, I like reading what Aunt, uh, what uh, Sam writes down. For yes, tracks. it's half the beauty of this bit. Of course, Sam writes. Chunky's guy on the couch reads. Wait. He's got a, someone called Guy on the Couch? Those are quotation marks. Oh, uh, no. He's like, those are quotation <laughs> marks. Oh, I apologize, yes. Sam. Yes. Chunky's Guy on the Couch reads text messages that are definitely not fake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which means they're oh, absolutely okay. fake. All right. In Sam speak, what that means is there's a lame guy on the couch. I guess they saw a couch in there and figured... We can make a character called Guy on the Cow. <laughs> wow, that's terrific. They just look at anything. Mm. Oh, God, if only somebody was sitting on the shitter at the time. We'll call you Guy on the Shitter. <laughs> and uh, he's reading texts that definitely aren't fake. Right. Which, in Sam speak, I believe, means these could not be more fake. Right. <laughs> and, then <he> con- <laughs> and then he continues, he writes, Then Chunk takes a live... In quotes, phone call. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 no. it, and, and and let me let me explain a little something uh, to people in Radio Land. 
when you're running a show where you are so music intensive, you get to talk for 10 seconds at a clip. Right. The odds that you're going to plunk a phone line down and get gold mm. is astronomical. So what you do is you record all of your calls. Right. And then make believe you're just taking that call at right. that moment. Right. Because, like I said, there's no way you would hit the phones. Every phone call's golden. Right. We, we have a professional screener. Yeah. That screens you dummies. And you all stink. <laughs> and then we put the best on, or we try to. Yeah. So we have a, a massive screening process. We take them live, but, yeah. you know. But we, we work on the fly better than, uh, I mean, more than anyone out there. Yeah, and we still are screening calls. Because yeah. you'd be here all day plunking down phone lines to just idiots, morons, people that have no concept of how to speak on the phone, never mind the radio, oh. and, and, and chunk... The chunk is just plunking down phones and it's gold, right? We call him the chunkster. The chunkster? <laughs> yeah. The, the chunkster. chunkster. The chunkster has great callers, though, because they talk fast, they get right to the point, yeah. and they're in, they're out. And it's real. And boom, are they boom, requesting boom. a song that just happens to be playing in the background <laughs> of the phone call? Jesus. <laughs> and they also, they're, they're good with the beat button. Yeah. They beep out those curse words in those live phone calls ah, like nothing. Oh, hey, yeah. 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 I, I, I was doing that for years over there. Yeah. What are you saying, Sam? I don't know how they do it so fast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brian in Jersey, uh, we were mistaken. Ch Chunky dropped his phone on 57th Street, too. Oh, okay. So this is the third reference to wow. 57th Street. <laughs> how about another street? <laughs> right. How about you go in, uh, I don't know, 56? Where does he live? Yeah. The you Carnegie can... Hall basement? Right. Make a right out of the door <laughs> right. and go to 56th. Yeah, there's a breezeway. You can go right or yeah, left. Yeah, so right or left. Why don't, you, why don't you go exploring 56th Street? Yeah. There's go, a bum well, over there that's a little ornery. <laughs> it's it might bite your face off. The streets work in a grid, so it's you can't really get lost. <laughs> Jesus. And then Sam ends with, then Chunk takes a, quote, live phone call, ending, and he has to write it in all caps with a hilarious punchline. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> it's now. You have to end with a punchline. All righty. That way people want to come back for the next one. I want to know, oh, why is your boyfriend... What is what is Chuck? What does Chuck need to know? What does Chuck need to know? Needs, oh what does he need God. to know? Needs to know the cholesterol and <laughs> right. everything he eats. Right. Holy shit! <laughs> the <laughs> coming in. It's, it's like, so loud. It's so loud. It's, it's so, so annoying. Loud. It's so fucking annoyingly loud. He's yelling. I want to know. Why is your boyfriend about to get dumped? Your chance to kind of send him a wake up call, tell him to wake up, ship up or sh this guy ship, ship up. up or shape out. Also, ship up. <laughs> he said ship up. Yes, he did. Yeah, the, the chunkster is a traitor, man. He's working for the other team. What do you mean? He's working with the women. I know. Hey, we want to yeah. know what's wrong with those guys out there. Come on, bitches. Let's, call in. Let's holes. ignore that I'm a guy. Well, the station does want to kind of target the female listener. Yeah. That's why we were promptly shown the door. We were getting. I want to know why is your boyfriend what? about to get dumped? <laughs> your chance to kind of send him a wake up call, tell him to wake up, ship up or shape out. Uh, guy on the couch, what do we got on the text over there? Uh, I know why he's about to get dumped, because he doesn't take me out. That is from Ashley. Yes, fellas, you got to take your girls out. What else you got? Uh, my man is getting dumped because he cheated on me with his first cousin. She has an STD. We've been going out for three years. <laughs> That's right. not... Dude! <laughs> Dude! That's hysterical, Cowan! He's got a dumb Rocco. He's Rocco. He's, he's got a little, little Rocco. <laughs> hey, guy on the couch! Hey, guy on the couch that likes his face smushed into it! <laughs> guy biting the pillow on the couch! <laughs> guy on the couch doesn't sound like he's from New York. No. Uh -huh. Does he bring up a 57th Street reference? Yeah. There's one thoroughfare in Manhattan. Christopher Street for the one. Fucking, everything else is bedrock. <laughs> right. There's one street, 57th. Right. Yeah, the Ice Age is still taking care of Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> dude, dude, right? It is, dude, dude. Rocco is the king of punching up the lamest oh. shit, man. With his <laughs> fat, right. fat boy laugh. Oh, dude! <laughs> you no, didn't you say did. that, oh, dude! It's crazy. <laughs> 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 
Jesus Christ, what a fucking train wreck. <laughs> we were replaced by this shit? Ugh. Sounds like Frankie Blue without the alcohol. No, Frankie <laughs> Blue is a classic, oh, man. Frankie Blue is he, great drunk. He wanted to fuck his listeners. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? But, I mean, he openly said it on his show. That's crazy. 50 grand. <laughs> prize winners. <laughs> <laughs> 50 grand. Have we played Prize that? Prize winner. RuPaul's big man hands. Uh, yeah. Is that RuPaul's hands? Yeah. Dude, where is E Rock? Have we played that in a while? Frankie E-Rock? Blue. <laughs> if E Rock could. If E Rock could prove that we haven't played that in 90 days, we are playing that today. Frankie Blue, have we played it, please? E Rock? I, I got my fingers crossed. The last time we played it was on Christmas Day. Uh oh. January, right, February. We can, we can we're, play we're past it. it. Yeah, Almost nine days. Oh, it's, thanks. We're not past the 90 Wait days. Wait a minute, Mo. What's today's date? The 25th. We're on fucking 90 days exactly. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Frankie, Frankie Blue, Blue. And who listens on Christmas anyway, right? Yeah, no one was listening. What are you kidding? We could have had RuPaul in, and none of us thought of it. That would have been great to ask RuPaul oh, yeah, about, about the whole Frankie about Blue Frankie experience. Blue. Get that think of Frankie it. Blue shit. That fucking tranny went in a fest up with shit. Yeah. Maybe not. We're going to play Frankie <laughs> Blue, and then we're going to play part two of the Chunky stuff. But first, uh, let's... Let's get back to Guy on the Couch. Guy on the Couch. Yeah, I did. <laughs> what is he collecting the info for Chunky? Yeah, he's getting yeah, a text. Yeah. He's just some dumb intern. I've been going out for three years. <laughs> All right, once again, 866 990 4487. Why is your man about to get dumped? Because he doesn't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the best. He can sit at home and make you dinner all night. No, he doesn't even know how to cook. Okay, are you dating a homeless guy? <laughs> no, I'm not. You don't have to give this guy 25 cents every night when you come home, do you? No, I have to give him a dollar. New York's 92 3 now. FM. Oh, awesome. <laughs> it, doesn't it just infuriate you? <laughs> it's, it is. It's, it's angeringly mad. It's a just, bad. It. It. it, it I, I, we. I, that fucking bad. She says something. Bam! Hit the fucking post. production. Oh. Did you notice him? A, 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 uh, bring down the bed so he could get. You dating a homeless guy? Yeah. And, and then, then you, bring the bed right back. Yeah, yeah, right back up. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is why I can't sleep at night because because you're too because you're up all night listening. Too. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> there's corporate suits. That just believe in this. What is that? Like, I can't... I know this is for females and stuff, but I, you, you like to think the females deserve a little more than this with from their stupid radio show. This Wouldn't they awful. want, like, a Ryan Seacrest instead of a big, fat, chunky fuck? <laughs> Ryan Seacrest is on Z100. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah, I'd rather have a Lopewiser. <laughs> oh, and you know how much I too. hate Lopewisers. <laughs> One more. Chunky displays his undying wit by over-explaining a self-deprecating joke. <laughs> undying wit. <laughs> Fucking Sam. All right. Uh, the bed? Oh. All right, let's go to the phones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, stop with the bed. Stop with the bed. Can we please get that bass line? Oh, so I want that. It? Yeah. I want to talk over it all day <laughs> and just have to yell. Till you're fucking hoarse. Oh, my God. This is why, wow. This is why I'm going insane. Oh, my God. Is he homeless? Is like on 57th Street? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why would he be... He can't cook. So is he homeless? No. She said he's out of work. He's at her... He's at home. He's not homeless. And why, if you, you can't cook, would you need... Home- I don't get what he said. Homeless people don't have ovens. It's angering. Oh, yeah. Well, let's just play it. I mean, there's some wit to be heard here. All right, let's go to the phones. Your man's about to get dumped. Why? It's not true anymore about it's not the size of the ocean. It's all about the motion. (laughs) Right, but didn't you know this before you started dating him? Yeah, but he promised me he would get better, but it never got better. (laughs) Are we dating? That sounds awfully like me. (laughs) Probably. I'm really bad in the bed. Oh, boy. You get it? Oh, boy. She's, 
It just said, oh, boy. He's not good in bed. Yeah. He said the bed. <laughs> the bed. So, yeah, and the bed's not good either. <laughs> 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 the bed. Oh. You know what? And, and here's another thing they told him. Look, a lot of guys are going to be calling up. Mm-hmm. Keep them off the air. Mm-hmm. You give subjects, you give topics that are going to get the girls calling in. Because mm-hmm. we want a, a female presence here. Mm-hmm. So get the girls calling, get them involved. And that way more girls come on board. You, don't worry, the guys will be there. Don't worry, don't worry about it. They're going to they're gonna be there just to hear the chunk. The chunkster. The chunkster. Tic Tac always gets the girls to call in, too. Ah, does, yeah. does he? Can we hear Tic Tac? How do you know that, Sam? What am I going to listen to in the afternoons? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ron and Fez? No, I mean after three. New to three, Ron and Fez. How about a replay of our show? I heard it already. No, it's now. It's now. It's now. It's now, it's now not then. Yeah. <laughs> You're then. I need now. <laughs> Fuck you, Sam. This, this, this is It's amazing how un- awful it is. Fucking listenable. Yeah, that's bad. It's <laughs> unlistenable bad. Mm. And completely listenable on this show. <laughs> Because I can't get enough of hearing that. It's all I want to hear. (laughs) (laughs) Do you understand? I want every break to start with that bass line. (laughs) Yeah, every break. (laughs) We got four more tracks after the break. Thank God. (laughs) But we're going to start with Frankie Blue after the break. Have to. Frankie Blue, 50 grand. Prize winner. (laughs) It's one of our favorite audio clips of all time. Frankie Blue. When he mixes up the 50 grand prize winners <laughs> to 50 grand prize winner. <laughs> like, like he didn't know if it was a grand prize or if it was 50 grand yeah. prize winner. He was so confused. I don't know what, he, what happened that day. Maybe he had the flu. No, nah, there was... We could, we could talk <laughs> about the rumors, that's for sure. Oh, rumors. He could get witnesses. <laughs> what is the fat, chunky sweeper? It's for afters. Fans made them. Fans, man. Fans are horror. making chunky sweepers? Yeah. Oh, good. We didn't even ask for chunky sweepers. Oh, really. All the oh, fans boy. rule. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. We'll uh, take a break. We'll do the Frankie Blue, then part two of the chunky audio for today. Tomorrow, yeah. we're going to get some Tic Tac audio. Yeah, we can listen to Tic Tac tomorrow. <laughs> you guys are going to get so jealous. So you're going to get down on yourselves. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're the worst. Sam. Sam is the worst, man. And happy birthday to old Fatso, Aretha Franklin, 67 today. <laughs> you want to do Frankie Blue? You want to do a little more chunky radio? Dude. Frankie e- Blue? Either one. I want to hear a little Frankie. Frankie Blue is <clears throat> the greatest DJ fuck up of all time. This was uh, his swan song, as they call it. See, his yeah, last business? broadcast. Oh, yeah. Frankie Blue was a legendary uh, PD for this uh, pop slash rhythm type music. He was yeah. he was the go to guy. He was the one they all went for and hired when they wanted to do a, that type of music. And yeah. the rumor has it, rumor has it, that he was at a Christmas party. Yeah. Got a little fucked up. Might have been on something else. Went back to the station, got into a huge blowout with, like, the night girl. Yeah, yeah. She c- starts crying and runs out of the building, and, and the music's playing. And Frankie Blue says, don't worry, I got it under control. That's right. I'll just take to the airwaves. That's right. And finish her shift. You're about to hear the last time Frankie Blue was on the air. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he uh, according to certain witnesses... Yeah. Uh, that were there that we talked to firsthand. Mm-hmm. He was hammered. Yeah. And yeah. this audio was never supposed to see the light of day. No. I mean, it was over the radio, but who's going to be recording that crap? Earl Douglas? Well, we had an inside job on this one. <laughs> we had an insider that got this audio for us. I thank that person. <laughs> yeah. She's always been a, a soldier to this show. Mm-hmm. All right, here it is. Frankie Blue's last broadcast. A piece. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love this uh Nelly featuring Tim McGraw. This is Frankie Blue. Now, you know, for the last several weeks, we've been um, giving Drunk. you a chance <laughs> to win $50,000 in cash in the Mix 1027 redo and plus win a Toyota... 
Zion. And I think that is going to happen tomorrow morning. <laughs> tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Ricky, RuPaul, Kim will pick a winner and go to that winner's house like publishing clearance. Publishing clearance. Or whether it's a house or it's a job. We're coming we, to you, baby. We're going to find you. And we're going to reward you with $50,000 and a brand new Toyota. And um, I, don't, I don't see how you cannot be happy about that. This is Frankie <laughs> Blue. Um, so make sure you're listening tomorrow about 8 a.m. Um, 50 grand prize winner. 50 grand prize winner. That's right. 50 grand prize winner. He screwed it all up. Of the redo contest of the winner of the Toyota Scion. Come on, baby. You know you want it. If you have qualified in the past several weeks... We're going to pick the winner tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. RuPaul's going to dip his big old hands in there, pick a winner, and we're going to find you. And then I don't care if it takes all day. It's worth the $50,000 in the car. All right? We have the armored truck. We've got the party patrol vans. We've got the car. We've got everything. But more important than that, we got the best music in town. So why don't you give me a call? Um, this is Frankie Blue um, for Yvonne Velasquez, and um, telephone number is, if you want to make a request, is one eight seven seven mix 1027 So give me a call. Okay, baby? Thank you. Oh, my God. That was supposed to be a 20-second break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, on, maybe 30 seconds. On those stations, it's supposed to be a real quick yeah. hit, and then you're back to the music. That was pushing three minutes. Oh, did he babble on yeah. and on? Did that cost him his job or no? That break didn't uh, cost him his job, did the it? The next one, which is only a minute. Well, that one was uh, probably gearing up to it. <laughs> but that was survival. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Let me ask you a question. Did anybody know? That's the exact same thing they're doing now on 92.3. Uh, y- yes. Yes. What are they doing on 1027 now? Uh, Fresh? Know. Yeah. This was, yeah. Uh, what it's was like this called? like a light FM kind of a thing. Uh, 1027 Mix. They, they did the same thing a few years ago, and it failed. Yeah. It's amazing what decisions they make. Yeah. It's the same stuff. It's the same shit. Yeah. Why am I yelling? Uh, by the way. Mad. Sorry. So, <laughs> speaking of yelling, someone's yelling on instant feedback. Sandy Bottom, I have no fucking idea what you're talking about, so stop writing the same shit over and over again. What? What? Uh, People are stupid. I don't even want to read what he's writing because it doesn't make any sense. Explain yourself. Thank you. Back to the Frankie Blue. Frankie Blue. This is the one I think that got him fired. Mix 1027. The new Mix 1027. This is Frankie Blue. And I am so excited for tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I got Ricky and Rue. Tomorrow. Coming in in the morning. Putting a hand in the big old barrel and. Picking out a $50,000 grand prize winner. The winner of the KTU Mix 102 Redo Contest. <laughs> yeah, the call it is wrong. And also you win a Toyota Scion. Now what's going to happen is they're going to pull. They're going to they're gonna put their hand in the barrel. They're going to pick out a winner. And then they're going to fight that winner. <laughs> and that winner will be rewarded with everything. Mix 1027, Frankie Blue, what's happening? He missed the post a little on that one. The chick's singing. He's fucking babbling. He's still... We're going to find the winner. We're going to fuck the winner. We're going to fuck the winner. <laughs> He's babbling. He says KTU, WKTU. He's on WNEW. KTU was his old station. Was his old station. That he made really popular. <laughs> Jesus, he just a mess. Did that oh. end his career? Yeah, oh. that was it. That was pretty much, uh, yeah. He was fired pretty much the next day. They didn't even... They didn't even have the internal investigation. No. Goodbye. Said, <laughs> he said, we got to get rid of this guy. <laughs> and we're going to fuck the winner. Wow. I think he was trying to say fine, but then he burped or something. I, I, I came, I, out, fuck. came out like fucking. Yeah. 
Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Thinking he's stepping in to save the world after he, a chick left. Right. And wow, just ended his fucking career right there. <laughs> All right. Put that, uh, put that away for another 90 days. 90 days, he comes back days. out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Frankie Blow. He rules. You want to sing into the uh, part two of Chunky Radio? Yeah, I think we... Uh, Staying with the radio theme for to, a little yeah, bit? I, I want to hear a little, a little more chunk. We got to get sarcastic uh, Sam in here. Come on, Sam. Sarcastic <laughs> Sam. Uh, a little more. I don't... He, he didn't answer to sarcastic Sam because oh, I it's know, not being he's sarcastic. Not sarcastic. I'm it, sorry. It pins me into a corner when you call me that. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> don't want to tear down, uh, tear down that wall. Yeah. You're right. So yeah. where are we with uh, Chunky Radio here, Sam? Well, I think we're getting ready to go to his next thought starter. Yeah, it, it, you Fun write starter. You write down here. Chunky breaks new ground with his next bit. Right, <laughs> new ground is new ground in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Sam puts things in quotes to really let yeah. you know what's happening. And uh, for the people that are just tuning in, this is what replaced us on regular radio, pretty much. This type of program. Yeah, this so. type of programming, not him exclusively, yeah. but uh, him and Tic Tac. He yeah. made the he made the paper the other day. Yeah, he sure for being did. such a revolutionary by using Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, things yeah. like that, yeah. uh, in conjunction with a radio show, yeah. which is, I've never heard of. <laughs> that's crazy. Holy Jesus, that's insanity. I appreciate the person that was uh, defending us on the New York radio message board saying exactly that. Like, oh, really? Where the fuck has David Hinckley been? Opie and Anthony have been doing this for a long, long time. Where has Hinckley been? And then Please. you look into his Twitter account, and uh, David Hinckley made a big deal about his Twitter account, and we looked it up, and he has 24 people following him. 24 followers. Today yeah. he has 244, <laughs> which means about 200 of our listeners have joined his Twitter account. All hostile. <laughs> right. All hostile. <laughs> they took it over. <laughs> they they sure did. have. <laughs> uh, Chunky breaks uh, new ground with his next bit. You, you might call us jealous today. Yes, this is yeah. what replaced us on regular radio. Sour grapes right That's here. That's right. Oh, uh, this I'm is Chunky Radio. Not even bad again. Oh. Turn it up. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's much too low. Yeah, you got to really turn this up. You got to push that <laughs> there bass it is. too there, turn. There we go. Close to distort it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Give me a little distortion. <laughs> All right. We're going to play a little, uh, we're going to play a little Lamar Chunky. Well, I got to tell you, though, these girls. Uh, they're just smarter than guys are. We'd like to take your phone calls and give us these examples of how women, uh, how you girls are smarter than guys. But Chunky, don't you only want phone calls from people hanging out on 57th Street? Uh, yeah, I was out on 57th Street and I saw some girls. Uh, and they just looked smarter. Hey, Chunky, aren't you the reason for all those potholes on 57th Street? <laughs> aren't you just trying to walk God, to I'm get some fat. Lunch? <laughs> Cause I'm fat, I get it. Yeah, I was walking down 57th Street, and, uh, wow, they got some hopping clubs down there. <laughs> yeah, dude. They... Local reference, there's not one club. <laughs> uh, let's get you into it. To... Yeah, I mean, where were you at? Club Torno Watch? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. There's a local reference. <laughs> club Parker Meridian. <laughs> Chunky breaks new ground with his uh, next bid. Let's take a listen to Chunky Radio. Uh, this is Chunky Radio. 92.3 Now FM. Ladies. 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 Yeah. What if I gave you the opportunity <gasps> to what? slap another girl dead in the face? Oh, my God. I know all my BK ladies listening, all my Bronx girls. Right. What if Burrows. I gave you the opportunity to slap one girl in the face? Who would it be and why? I want you to call me up here at Chunky Radio. All right, let me tell you what's happening. Oh, fucking A. Hot 97 did this. It was a huge fucking bit, and and, and uh, the station got in a lot of fucking trouble because it had something to do with a boxing. Because they were really bringing license. chicks in to smack kind of each other. This is what Chunky's going to do. He's going to take phone I Oh, my God. I got to start blogging. This guy is, is going to take phone calls, but there's never going to be a payoff. No. Because CBS Radio will not allow one girl to smack another girl in the face on Chunky's radio Dude, show. Dude, it was never going to get to that point. This is stupid Chunky just throwing out random questions that girls will call in with because right. they want the girls to call in. Right. And, and just... Hey, why don't you tell me? Give me a call. You notice he went with the Bronx reference? Because we all know uh, that's where the wild girls are, All right? my girls right, up guys? there, BK. What? Shut up. 
That's Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, did he say Brooklyn? I no, he said, said the Bronx. No, he said, he said BK. BK the Bronx. BX is the Bronx. <laughs> BX is the Bronx. Yes, that's true because it ends in an X. <laughs> and it's right there at the end of 57th. Right. <laughs> you go to the Bronx, <laughs> Staten Island's at the other end. Mm hmm. Wow. All right, well. Yeah, BK is Brooklyn. Of course. BX okay. is Bronx. But he said BK Bronx? Yes. Nice. But that's where the tough girls go. Wow. So, so he's getting a little more local for everybody. Yeah. He's branching out a little bit. He's he, one of us. He knows where the tough girls hang. I wish BTK would have found him. <laughs> <laughs> There's your local reference. Ooh. <laughs> Chunky takes a, and it's in quotes, Aunt, yeah. live phone call. <laughs> live phone call. And okay. does an, quote, I can't spell joke for an extremely long time. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. What about you? Hello? Melissa. Why? She's my best friend's ex-girlfriend, and she's a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What did she do? She just, she's just manipulative. She deserves it. Wait, hold on. Wait, that's a big word. I got to Google that. What is <laughs> that? Manip? Manip? I'm not sure she'll get it either. Manip? How do you spell it? You got it. Uh... uh M-A-N-I-P-U-L-A-T-I-V-E. <laughs> okay, she manipulated you. No, my friend. Oh. There's just a whole lot of manipulation going on. <laughs> I love it. She deserves a good backhand oh, across well, the face. At least you do. <laughs> Anybody hit that post? <laughs> Dude. Dude, was she wearing a tea bag? Dude. <laughs> Uh, this has rock hole written all over it. Yeah, it's refreshing <laughs> to hear rock hole again. That's that's for our <laughs> some listeners. Some fat fuck Dude. just getting on there with the phony radio, the phony calls. Hey, go ahead. And and, and you know what, what a good indicator is that these calls are fucking fake, recorded, oh, whatever they are. Mm -hmm. Listen when we take a call. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Would you talk? You, <laughs> what? Me? Me? Hello? What? Me? You. And, she, and she cut. And he goes, he's like, "Hello, Melissa, I want to slap her." Right. Like she doesn't even start out saying hello. No, no. He no. cuts that part off because the he hello makes it a little too human. First of all, yeah, yeah, which is stupid, I guess. <laughs> and you got to get the. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> hello, you're on the air. Another quote oh. live call filed. Followed by a punchline that doesn't make a lot of sense. As opposed to the last one? <laughs> manipulative Manip is... Manipulative. That was really funny how he did, did manipulative yeah. eight or ten times. It's a I big word. That, yeah, here we go. Very funny. Oh. Yo, how we doing on the phones over there? We got some angry girls? A lot of angry girls in New York. Yeah, what okay. girl do you want to slap in the face and why? I want to slap my ex-best friend. Yes, why do you want to slap her in the face? Because she's trying to get me in trouble for something that I didn't do. What happened? A long story. I got all day. Um, she tried blaming me for stealing her car when I didn't. It was some other girl. Is this the girl from the other Dude, call? I thought it was like stealing a pack of gum. You guys are out there doing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> this is great. I've always wanted to meet a girl that steals cars. <laughs> Dude, I got one for you to steal. <laughs> President Obama's limo. Nice. Did it end there, or did the tape break, or what happened he there? Committed uh, suicide. Did, <laughs> did the equipment finally fail from all of Opie's abuse, <laughs> hitting and kicking it? Finally, <laughs> mercifully, it died on that line. Next day. Holy shit! Next day, we got a few payments left. <laughs> <laughs> He treated the equipment like Chester. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Jared in Boston. Jamie. Hey, uh, I hear uh, Rocky's getting a uh, uh, Chunky, whatever the fuck his name is. Chunky's getting suspended next week because he stole tickets out of the PD's office. Dude. dude. <laughs> I'll show that PD, dude. <laughs> Be listening at 720. Yeah, when I give away these stolen tickets. This guy just completely robbed Rockhole's playbook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow.
Yeah. Kazawi. We got one more, and then we'll oh, give Chunky Radio a rest. A little today. rest for the day? Well, yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't take too much of this in. Oof. Got to spread out the goodness. Yeah. <laughs> the goodness. I got another hour that hasn't been cut off. Oh, shit. This is all within like an hour and a half of yesterday's He's show. He's got a lot done with his show. He does. He's good. Chunky says the women are getting totally nuts, obviously. He takes one more live call with a funny Jesus joke. <laughs> All right. Dude, these women are getting crazy on the phones here. We might have to file a restraining order against ourselves, against women. Well, the, the phones are, are, are crazy women. I'm afraid to move. Crazy women. Who do you want to slap in the face, ladies? I want to slap my ex-friend Stephanie in the face for robbing rings out of my jewelry box and stealing my son's crucifix and chain. She stole Jesus? Yes, she did. How do you live with yourself and steal Jesus? Absolutely. You... She, she's a POS. Hello. Um, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hey yo! Hey yo! <laughs> oh, hello! But that's what I'm saying. This is just some of the stuff I'm you get. I'm beside to... myself here. I cannot. I can't grasp this. Well, they know what they're doing at CBS Radio, Aunt. You just, you know, you just don't understand. I like how Chunky's callers are good enough that they don't breathe between words. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. The fraction of a second that normal people have to breathe between words. Oh, For some no, reason, those no. live callers, no, they don't have to breathe it's between. It's amazing when you can digitally just remove that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, because the now way to breathe is to yeah, not at all. to not breathe. <laughs> right. You don't have to breathe when you're talking. No. Let's say hi to Mark. Mark, you're on the Opie and Anthony show. Morning, boys. Hey, Mark. What's going on? What's well, up? I think you guys should take some Rocco audio mm. and Chunky audio. And play them both and compare the two to see how much alike they are. The whole, you know, dude <laughs> thing. Where's E Rock? Just get a copy of like. Um, yeah, we have one of our stations. Royal Flush or something. Unusual Suspects. You got yeah. an Unusual Suspects CD? Yeah. Is it called Unusual Suspects? That's yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what, unusual Suspects. You gotta get it right Royal away Flush because is one. they got Chunky's voice in their heads out there, so we gotta do this right away, or we're gonna miss the opportunity. As uh, E Rock gets that. Why has he got an inappropriate bell on this show? I'm watching the news, and he's dinging a little bell. Yeah, I was too busy looking at the tiny little kid playing The tiny, tiny pool, pool player was adorable. <laughs> this little kid had to be like three years old, and he's shooting pool. Real nice upbringing. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be in a bar. Uh, well, the good news. Travis has found uh, Chunky's 923 Now website page. <laughs> oh, wow. And this is the stuff we love. Dude, this is what we... T we, we got Every dumb Josh got one of these... <laughs> Fucking bio pages. And you know what? We're guilty of this. Because people oh, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, we did. <laughs> you know what they say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. But guess what? The difference is we learn and we move on. Yeah. And we get smart. And others continue to do this dumb stuff. Chunky Radio Likes. You want to read uh, some of the likes? Oh, come on now. Stop trying so fucking hard. What? What? What happened? He's trying again to be local. Oh, okay. Where's he from uh, again, uh, Sam? New York City. Uh, no, where was he from before that? Before that, where was you... he from a week ago? <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Oh. Where was he from last week? Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> Dude, well, Detroit, <laughs> Michigan. Yes. And hold that thought because All the show right. is just moving a, a million miles an hour here. <laughs> That's fine by me. I just found. I, we, I just was handed the unusual suspect. <laughs> <laughs> no, which one? Which one do you got? Watch Anthony. Watch Anthony. <laughs> I got Because just it. reading the track will make Anthony laugh. Oh, uh, no. A letter to Miguel. No, no. Not a letter to Miguel. Dude. <laughs> you want to hear Rocco's letter to Miguel? Yeah, let's hear Rock Hall's up. We're, we're playing this because uh, this chunky sounds a bit like a guy we used to work with, Rocco. Yeah, or, his whole, his whole, like, or His you, whole act is very rock hole -ish. Watch Anthony's reaction. Or do you want to hear Rocco's surprise date? <laughs> I want to hear something with a little more interaction. I like the Miguel one. Well, there's only two tracks. So we're, we're playing both of them. I'm sorry, but we have to. He needs some interaction with people. Which is the, the, the big get? 
letter to Miguel. So we'll warm the audience up. All right. With Rocco doing Rocco. <laughs> Rocco surprise date. Rocco surprise date. Dude. You're going to hear a little of the chunkster right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Just one of the many problems <laughs> people have. You got a problem, dude? Talk to me. Horrible. With the dude, dude okay, everything. look. Is that what? Rocco or yeah. fucking... That's, that's Rocco. That's Rocco. Now let me tell you something. That's why we the keep bed, saying, dude. The bed is not being added in. Right. This isn't some like a uh, uh, trickery on our part where we added in a bed. This guy took Rockhole's act. Why would you take the act of a failure? <laughs> he took Rockhole's playbook. Yeah. He's fat. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Just one of the many problems people have you got a problem dude talk to me horrible f-ing story talk to me make it out with some check <laughs> nice no i thought it was good you know, everything was good and dandy blonde hair beautiful everything's flowing everything was flowing very well i might add what happened did she have a penis she had a, f-ing, a huge penis man dude it wasn't a good thing <laughs> get out of here <laughs> let me tell you something it was not a good thing <laughs> Dude, you were holding a penis in your hand. I would have kicked somebody's ass. Kick some ass. I fell over. I almost died. Did you puke? Did I puke? I, I, you, I was puking today for crying out loud. I kissed a f***ing homo. You I'm, kissed him? Yeah. We were making out and everything. <laughs> you were making out with a guy. <laughs> and you probably liked it, you little freak. What do I do, man? It's not funny, man. Dude, you stuck your <laughs> tongue down a dude's throat. Dude, no, man, wait. And you liked it. At first, yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that is... Man. That's, that's funky, though. What year is that? What uh, year is that? That's got to be 90... Uh... Six? That's like 1996. <laughs> We're in 2009, and Chunky's and doing Chunky the same. is Dude. doing the same <laughs> fucking act as Rockhole did. <laughs> I was a pioneer, dude. Dude, you had a guy's cock in your mouth. Ma- I was the first dude master, dude. Dude. You want to hear a letter to Miguel? Uh, why wouldn't I? I think at this point we're just entertaining ourselves. But the, the, this is <laughs> someone out there is enjoying this. It's <laughs> such a great douche chill, uh, exposing <laughs> this this shit for what it is. Yeah, dude. All right, here's a uh, letter. This was Rocco's biggest bid ever, by the oh, way. Oh, fuck! It made yeah. the station CD. Yeah, my God. A letter to Miguel. What is uh, Miguel? It's one of those where you you send letters to kids uh, in third world nations, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It's like one of those, uh, you know, those uh, late night commercials where you you give money yeah. and you get the picture of the kid and the letters and everything like that. The yeah. Christians <laughs> Children Fund or something. Well, Rockhole apparently had <laughs> he had apparently done this and got a letter from the kid yeah. and was reading it on the air. Yeah, never happened. <laughs> Now we got Allison in Jersey. Allison. 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 Hi, Allison. (laughs) How are you? Good, Allison. Good. Um, I have a quick question, because I'm still getting used to not hearing you guys on the radio every morning, and um, I, you know, still can't change the channel. It's just like a car accident whenever I hear Chunky on the radio. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if there's any way you guys can help me. I want to call in and just call him out on his... Shit. So do you it's have any, impossible. Um, say it's impossible because what you're hearing are recorded calls. Yep. Right. It would be like they would have to record you bitching him out and then play it. It, it would never happen. They, they're not going to take those chances. They're not allowed to. The program directors tell them they're not allowed to confront people. This right. is a happy. Fun station. Right, right. Uh, not, they're not looking for reality and real conversation. They're looking for uh, re- pre recorded calls of just girls <laughs> to call in and uh, talk about you know, the questions that uh, the chunkster is throwing out there. You've got to think they got a few calls about us. 
Where's Opie and Anthony? Oh, yeah, yeah. What are those calls? Sam listens to Chunk Radio every night. It's just luck, yeah. luck of the draw when Not, he plunks those phones down. That's what I was going to say. If Allison listens, she should call between the songs, <laughs> but, like, right when a song's about to end because of the delay. <laughs> yeah. And then hopefully, boom, Chunk will plunk, plunk down the phone. Uh, he'll, 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 right. Yeah, I hit you right And down. I think the Opie and Anthony show yeah. has obviously been forgotten about. You know it hasn't been brought up. How about a little yeah. experiment? Allison, you called the Chunkster today. And tell us okay. how, uh, what your experience was yeah. like uh, tomorrow. Tell us how it went. All right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you. Allison from Jersey. Here's a letter to Miguel Rocco, who sounds a lot like uh, Chunky or Chunk. Yeah. Chunk? Chunk, chunk is uh, chunk. Well, chunk is totally taking Rocco's playbook. All right. I never thought anyone would want it. <laughs> Can you ring the I don't even know. I haven't heard this bit in a long time. Can you ring the bell every time you hear dude? The dude bell? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This one might not have many dudes. It might not. We'll see. Uh, my name is Rocco, and uh, over the weekend I was watching television, and I'm watching the commercial for sponsoring a kid. So I called up, and I told him, I want to sponsor a child. And uh, I'm writing him a letter, but here's what I got so far. I was writing the letter. Dear Miguel, how are the things in your village? Is the drought over yet? I'm just sitting here playing Nintendo. It's about 95 degrees outside, and I have the AC on cube, so I stay nice and cool. My mom is such an asshole, she made me clean the pool. We had this huge party at the house yeah. with tons of people, and there was so much food, we had to put it in our second refrigerator downstairs, and it just sat there for two weeks and spoiled. We had to throw it all away. When you go outside, do you, I mean, do you still have to pee outside, or do they have toilets yet? How's the insect problem? I heard it's pretty rough over there. I'm going to send you a can of off. When it rains outside, does your mom make you guys mudslides? Right back soon, Rocco. How's that? I can feel the caring. I do care, damn it. Not only does Rocco suck, he's a dick. Thing with that though is like he's fucking just bragging to the kid. Like, why would you brag to someone who's <laughs> oh, literal Jim? God, that was awful. Oh, there you go, Jimmy. That's that's what we have to deal. Not with. Not only like, awful, that was deemed put it on a CD <laughs> worthy. <laughs> right. That wasn't just that was a fucking CD, dude. That was on a CD that was sold. Yeah. In stores. Mm. Holy shit! <laughs> they said, Rocco, we need two of your best tracks. For this CD that we're, uh, the station's putting out. And that's what Rocco gave him. The first thing you heard, and then that. Who would laugh at that, ever? Apparently, uh, no the, one. Ch the Chunkster was a fan. Yeah, the Chunkster. <laughs> chunkster has an influence. That's fucking terrible. It really is bad. That's fucking terrible. We had Awful. our we had our famous uh, Tourette's phone call on that same scene. Ah, just to give a comparison. To well, the hardcore listeners. That out there. was genius. Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, the Chunkster's uh, website. You want to get back to that? Yeah. Uh, again, this whole local <laughs> angle shit is just annoys the piss so out of me. So now that was Rocco from '96 ish. Yeah. Now we fast forward back to Chunky, who sounds a lot like Rocco, who uh, is in pretty much uh, in our place. Yeah. This is what they replaced us with. Uh, the Chunkster, uh, Chunky Radio likes. These are his likes. Food. <laughs> All right. Food. <laughs> All right. Uh, nice girl to take home to mama. Chinatown and Little Italy. Aha! Uh -huh. Local. Yeah, that's right down 57th, I believe, is <laughs> yeah. a Chinatown. And yeah. then the other side is... Yeah. yeah. The Jersey Shore. But you won't catch me in a bathing suit. Because he's fat, right? But you're not, you, don't, you don't go to the Jersey Shore. You just moved to town. You yes. don't even know what the Jersey yeah. Shore is all about. You go to the Eight Mile Shore in fucking Detroit. Yeah. yeah. All, there is no shore. He has yeah. no, no idea what, what the Jersey Shore is. Uh, just kicking it with my friends. Yeah. What, your self-esteem, fatty? Mm-hmm. So you get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Clubs. He's used to seeing people walk up to him with them and bashing him over the head. I'm trying to steal his pelt. <laughs> <laughs> pelt of an elephant seal. <laughs> he likes clubs, partying, and sleeping. Dislikes. Small ass taxis. Oh, wow. Well. Another little New York uh, reference. By the way, there's no small ass taxis. No, it's pretty much the biggest back seat you'll 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 get. Yeah. 
Chunk's a big guy, keep in mind. Well, that's true. Okay. Uh, People in my way at the buffet. You didn't say. Oh, people that smell. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What, like fat people? They do tend to reek. Mm -hmm. Clothes that don't fit. (laughs) Probably has a lot of those, I bet you. Uh, Anchovies. My stepdad that left me on a church doorstep when I was three. Not true. (sighs) Rock music. (laughs) <laughs> he doesn't like rock music until he's on a rock stage. Here's how phony this is. Please. <laughs> when when this all goes down the shitter and perhaps this guy gets another shot and they put him on a rock station, his dislikes will not say rock music. Right. It will say the horrible music I played at my last station <laughs> right. if he had any balls. Right. And, of course, the last of the dislikes, Z100. That station is old and their music sucks. And their DJs talk too fast about nothing. Um, Is it better to talk slowly about nothing? Their music sucks. They're playing the same music. Well, now it's a little more now. Z100 is kind of playing yesterday's Is stuff. it then? Yeah. yeah, Z100. It's been around since 1983 or whatever. Yeah. Doesn't that show listen? longevity? Exactly. You want something young and youthful and hip. <laughs> and something that'll be gone in a yeah. month or two. <laughs> hey, uh, good news. Uh, wow. We were well, trying we're to move done. on from... Uh, <laughs> From Chunk, but uh, yeah. Bobo's on the line. Bobo! I, I got a little song. I was at the beach in the Jersey Shore, and I almost died and got sick when I saw Chunky in a bikini. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Thank Bobo, you, Bobo, for that little song yeah. about why would he be in a bikini? <laughs> Chuck wears bikinis. <laughs> I don't doubt it is. They're called tea bags. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, intern, call up the Marriott. <laughs> I'm sent over to order a pasta. I need a ham. <laughs> he used to fucking get free food. And then put Anthony's TV on the ice. On the ice. Because ice doesn't melt. Yeah, <laughs> fucking asshole. We had no TVs in it. Like, we take for granted some of the things we have now. Well, we've always involved, like, yeah, yeah. M- media and the internet and everything else. But back then, we didn't have six or eight flat no, screen TVs. No, flat screen TVs. We had Anthony's tiny, what was it, eight by eight inch TV? Dude, black it was and a white? small little black and white portable little carry and i used to take that in so we could kind of monitor the news things that were happening whatever and uh rock hole had i don't know i think i guess they sent them over a fucking a a whale-sized serving of shrimp and and it was in these bus trays these bus boy trays full of ice right and they put my tv on top of the ice cubes for what reason i don't know thinking it was just gonna stay there all night (laughs) well it turns into water when left overnight so i walked in and there was my little tv in a bus tray full of water i just picked it up and out of the vent holes just water poured out Uh, that was a big deal too, because no one was making money. No, and we we, we, like, we kind of needed that you? TV. Did that hurt the TV? Uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't turn it on or anything. I left it for about a week, and it turned back on and just worked. It did. So yeah, nice. Yeah, but just the fact that you would be so stupid as to think ice is going to stay there and you could put things on it. Yeah. And in the morning, it will just be there. <laughs> Well, we end this whole mess with uh, fat chunky sweepers. We didn't even ask for these, but they're coming in. Uh, here's two from Fat Fan in Seattle. Mm. Good old Fat Fan in Seattle came up with this overnight. Mm-hmm. Fat Chunky, dumb as a monkey. If Hack was a drug, he'd be a chunky. <laughs> if Hack was a drug, he'd oh. be a chunky. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Chunky, dumb DJ Funky. Now FM should just hire a monkey. <laughs> hey, pass those on to Z100. Uh, <laughs> we have chosen our side. Uh, now it's, it's, it's Z100. E Rock, he knows everybody over there, I'm sure. Yeah, of course he does. <laughs> He's trying to get a job. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> Let's say hi to Allison. If you remember, we gave her. Allison. Uh, Allison. She got a, an assignment from the Opie and Anthony show yesterday. Allison from Jersey, how are oh, you? Right. I'm excellent. How are you? Good. 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 
So um, I took this social experimenting very seriously yesterday. Yeah. I, um, I had started out to sort of test the waters. I did what Sam said, and um, during the day yesterday, I had called towards the end of one of the songs, and some guy picked up, and he was like, hey, baby, what's going on? I was like, oh, um, hi, I was just calling to see what time Chunky goes on tonight, and um, he told me, and then I kind of asked him when the best time to be on the radio is, like, to actually be on the radio, and he was like, well, what are you doing now? And I was like, um, driving home. And he was like, you know, he asked me all these questions. And I was kind of answering. And then, um, and then afterwards, I hung up, turned the radio up a little bit, and there I was on the radio. And he had basically taken clips of what I said because he asked me, like, do you like the radio station? And I said, uh, yeah, to kind of, you know, be able to actually speak to him. And he kind of took my clips of what I had said and worked it around. And on the radio, it had said, oh, do you know what this preset reset is? And I had said, yeah, apparently. So it's oh, very no. strange. It's a bit obvious that... Um, so they that cut that your audio happen. up. They cut your yeah. audio up and put it into some kind of promo thing where they're able to, where they were just talking about, like, some Absolutely. kind of feature. And then Absolutely. you said, yeah, you know what it is, but your yeah was for a different... Oh, yep. And oh, then my. also, I think that did me really like this aspect. Um, so I called, I did that. I was a little creeped out that they could switch what I was saying and use uh-huh. their benefit. But I had called later during Chunky Radio, and I called and spoke with him. And he, one of the, like, questions, his dumbass questions that he asked, uh, the one last night was, do you have, like, a sugar daddy or something? So I had called in again at the end of the song. And um, he was like, hey, you know, do you have a sugar daddy? And I was like, yeah, um, it's actually my boss. And he did his horrific laugh. And, um, <laughs> and I said, yeah, it's my boss. He works at Ted's Cake Emporium. And, um, Ted's Cake um, Emporium? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, um, yeah, after that, you know, he was like, so do you sleep with your boss? And I was like, uh, yeah, or something like that. I'm not sure. But then I listened on the radio and he, you know, kind of went through the beginning of our conversation. But at the end, he said, how does it feel to sleep with a guy who could be your father? And he had taken my yeah and, like, written and put, yeah, it feels really good or something like oh, that. Oh, this guy is like, so God. Rocco. Yeah, you this could... guy really is like Rocco. Rocco used to do that all the time. He'd cut up things, add in things, yep. his own voice, yep. and, and try to make... Some. Something that wasn't there when the call was actually made. What was the wang? Get back in the kitchen. Yeah, get back in did. the kitchen, wang. But there was an obvious edit. Ah, yeah, he used the, too inside. He I used the same yes from the Chinese uh, oh, food that's right. guy that's what like it was. three times. Right. Yes. Yeah. The yes. Guy, yeah. The Chinese guy yes. answered a simple question and said yes. Like, are you alive? Yes. And then all of a sudden, Rocco took that yes and then is like, "Are you a homosexual, wang?" Yes. yes. Do you yeah, dude, you like <laughs> cock, dude. Yes. 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 Ha <laughs> ha, he said it again. <laughs> dude. Ugh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's the same one. Yes. 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 Uh, Allison, that's great. I think I think our new experiment should be, I mean, they're desperate for phone calls, obviously. Oh, if, yeah. If Allison got on twice in one day. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I got on twice in one day, and it was literally right after I had spoken to them. So I probably could have called multiple times right. and made multiple O&A references, right. and I would have gotten on every single time. Ted's Cake Emporium. That's hilarious. Why don't, we, why don't we pump up the experiment a little bit? We're rolling tape. Let's control Chunky's radio show for a little while. We need the females to call up the Chunkster with just outrageous stuff, but you got to sound believable. Yeah. And, um, actually, and then you call us and go, look, I got on. I was the one that said I was uh, banging my brother or whatever the hell the story's going to be. And then we'll play your phone call over here, knowing that it was completely made up because yeah, we're yeah. controlling his effing radio show. Yeah, tell us what you, yeah, you really actually, said. Yeah. I actually have the clip. Um, I recorded the clip because I had it on my computer. So I can send that to you guys if you want. Yeah, yeah. let me hear you on Chunky Radio. Wow, nice. Um, I don't know if I can figure it out now. I'm not on my computer, but I can send it to you. <laughs> All right, hold on a lot. Oh, it might girls be worth and playing. computers. Silly girls. <laughs> hey, oh, Allison, yeah. thank you so much for doing that for us. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. All right, man. Uh, right out. Bye-bye. S- Sam? I see you in studio. You need... Yeah. Oh. Well, 
I had a new uh, kind of a theory about Chunky yesterday. <laughs> I was sorry. Uh, I was listening to his show, which I always do. And uh, by the way, for the people that don't know, this is what they decided to replace us with this horrific CHR format thing, and they're not even doing it, you know, well. You know, yeah. Chunky's a hack. Yeah. But yesterday he was asking uh, sexy waitresses, female waitresses, female bartenders, and female cab drivers, since we're in New York, to call in. And he played one song, and by the end of the song, he had three callers all saying they were sexy female waitresses, but none of them said where they were. I think there is a good possibility he hmm. may have answers from when he was on the radio in Detroit asking the same questions. Oh, really? That he's brought with him oh, to New York oh. so he can... Ask, recycle this because there's no way that he has that volume of yeah. I mean, you have on. to cut up all the calls and right. So he had three of them that were probably just leftover tapes from Detroit. Yes, I think that so. he played. Ugh. Did Linda Lavin call in? This <laughs> a new girl in town, looking good. You know what? Uh, <laughs> Anthony and I were guilty of that. Really, we what? can admit it now. We took our some of the stuff we did at BAB. And like the first week or so at AF, we pumped it up with some uh, some really good stuff that worked over there. But we just kind of like, hey, AF, what's up? And it was actually a BAB call. Wow, I don't even <laughs> remember, I'll remember admit, that. I'll admit it now. Yeah, absolutely. I was just smiling it's, and happy to be there. It's another trick of the trade. All of a sudden, like, wow, this show just has an amazing following, even though they've been on the air two days. Yeah, <laughs> great. Instead of building it up naturally, because <laughs> we're all just needy idiots in this business, but at least we'll <laughs> at least we'll admit some of the tricks of the trade on this <laughs> dumb show. All right. Uh, so the women out there, they might be uh, uh, calling Chunky Radio. Well, I'll be I'll be taping with outrageous tonight. stories, and then they have to call us and go. That was me. And that was not <laughs> a what real I, story. That wasn't what I said. Right. Right. So uh, Kevin from Connecticut, a regular to to the, uh, the show, calls in all the time. He says he has the Allison audio for everybody that we were just discussing. Ooh. Kevin, what's going on, buddy? Hey, what's up, guys? I got some of that audio from uh, Allison last night. Beautiful. This will bring the whole bit together. Let's hear okay. it. You ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You've been rickrolling. Oh, no. Oh, no. We didn't get rickrolled, Whoa. did we? Oh, no. Whoa. 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 <laughs> 